Are we live? Yeah, okay. We are live. Good morning on this uh, 12.10.2022. Current time is 07.28 a.m. Eastern Time here in upstate New York, the southern tier of upstate New York where I live and reside. And we are off and running here on the vocal. Rich Roberts, at Fireman Rich over there on Twitter, here on The Vocal, Rich Roberts. I do have at Fireman Rich, but I broadcast here on uh, the Rich Roberts channel. Looks like we've got audio from the indicator. I'm just tweeting this out now, and uh, we'll see how that works. <clears throat> I have the morning coffee, Mountain, Green Mountain, wild blueberry i guess the missus made this morning so uh, just coming on here yep. and uh been up for you know, about a couple hours i guess and um let's see if i can get into the broadcast here on the let's see can i get on there or does it, does it want me to uh, i don't want that i want to come in as a guest i want to view it Uh, let me see. Let me get over here on the chat just in case. Let's say good morning. There we go. So we tweeted it out. Maybe I have to go through the the link let's go check the twitter and check try and go through the link jack is sitting over here over here on this this side here the missus moved her her desk from the living room to here so we have the christmas tree i gotta take a uh, a a um, a picture of the christmas tree that she put up can't reach how come What's going on? Oh, there it is. Let's mute that. How come I cannot get in there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we are blurry on the camera. I'm using the... Uh, you see the uh, blab owl, so I'm on OBS as far as that goes. And um, so we're up and running there. Okay, we got a view. Okay. You going to come over here, Jack? Come on. Come on. Wanna come up here. Uh, Jack is finding the spot. He's been chasing around this morning. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if we see, see if we get. Uh, I'm going to go fishing. Let's see if we can bring Matt and Michael Bathers up here. Let me send them a direct message. Let's see. Um, do I have him in the queue? Oh, there he is. get the link here and let's see um i don't want to do this i just get the link from the uh, twitter uh, let's see 
Yeah, we'll get the link from Twitter. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. There's the link. Okay. And we'll send that to Michael. And someone to Nazim. And we got three people. Who we got? One of them's me. Let's see. Guest. Uh, <clears> oh, <throat> might be the vocal folks. Let's see. Do we got Randy in here? Let's go ahead and throw Randy's. I don't. He's out at the boat probably, but I just want to throw him. Uh, and let's get uh, Mr. Ted Hicks. I put this on chat so I know if somebody's coming in. Um, and then last but not least, we'll do Tony. Should I do Colin? Let me. Yeah, I should do Colin too. Let's see. Did I do Colin? No. These are all people that I used to uh, converse with over there on HAPS. <clears throat> Let's try and make vocal the new HAPS, I guess, right? And uh, let's see, we'll go here, and then we'll do Tony D. He might be at work. So we sent out several invitations. Let's see, we sent Tony D, Ted Hicks, Colin, Randy, Nazim, and Michael. We'll see who shows up as far as that goes. Okay. And um, we played some music here. Let me get this set up here. So, and. Uh, See, we don't need that one, so I can get rid of that one. Let's see how our auto audio is. How's the audio? The audio. Give me. <clears throat> audio is good. Okay. Picture stabilized a little, little bit. But let me try something here. Turn the volume. Oh, I got it on the 100. No wonder. <laughs> we'll turn it down to 70. And then mute the page. We're good to go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. Do we, we still have vocal here on the phone? Let's see. We bring it up via the Twitter. I got... The, the tweet out so and this is being recorded as far as that goes um i'm not on here that much but i do enjoy when i am on here um and also have you been getting a lot of elon musk tweets <laughs> let's see let's go to profile and see how that okay that shows up let's see if we can bring this up here I have one dedicated device to the chat, so let's say. So start viewing. And okay. We got we got that up. You know, it doesn't look too bad on the phone. So we should have four. Okay, we're at four. So we got me recording. Um I'm on the Surface 3, and I'm on the um, 
the LG Stylo 5 phone. So um, I'm going to go, we're going to play a tune here. We're going to do some, some tunes and uh, I'll be right back. We're going to, uh, what is this? Let's see if this comes up. Uh, this is uh, Tears for Fear. Everybody wants to rule the world. So we'll see how that comes up. And uh, enjoy. It does not seem to be working. Let's see. Got that, got that. Hmm. Let me try this. Okay. But we're getting our Saturday going. And we'll see what the day brings. Let's see what that does here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm re re refreshing my uh,
Are we back? We're back. Okay. Oh, wow. That refresh just cleared up. Oh, it's a little fuzzy, but it's a lot clearer, though. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's play our tune. See if it comes in. Okay, I think I hear some footsteps. Here we go. Cheers for fear. Everybody wants to rule the world. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Okay. All right. I, I'm i not hearing it on my other devices here. So that's odd. So I'm not sure how that. Got a little bit of a pickle. Check the settings. Audio. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Broadcast. Maybe, oh, maybe I got to refresh the view here. Let me do that.
Testing one, two, three. Nothing. Let's try this again. I'm hearing something. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Testing one, two, three. Oh, okay. Now it's working. I think I hear the earbuds. Testing one, two, three. I'm not hearing it. Oh, oh, yeah, there's some feedback. There's some feedback. Okay, let's see if we can tear, tears for fear again. <laughs> Here we go. Start of the video. Not here in the footprints. So you're hearing my voice. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, Jackie. Lost the audio. Oh. Testing one, two, three. Oh, that's so the music. cuts off my microphone oh that's interesting that's something new what, what version we got oh we got version 0 0.19.2 so to bring that music in that is Oh, you know what? I'm going to try something here. Let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, we got more than one way to skin a, skin a cat. Let's see. Well, just to make sure, let's see if we can hear this music. Yep, we can hear that. Okay, so... If I go, let's try this. So this is something different, 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 different. So if I bring it in this way, turn the Wi-Fi on there. And then, okay. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> let's go to a browser. And we had this. Let's see, we go. Let's. Two. Forward slash. Oh no, let's go back. It's dot com. So it looks like I can't bring in the YouTube videos from the desktop. And if I do play them, they cancel out the microphone that I'm hearing on the... Uh, see, I got earbuds on. So I'm hearing my voice now <clears throat> and as I'm talking into the Marantz 1000. So we're going to try and do something different here and bringing in some music. 
And I've never done this before. So we're tinkering around on a Saturday as we uh, sent out several invitations to several people that I knew on HAPS. And we'll, we'll give it we'll give it 30 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, let's see. What's my YouTube channel? YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Richard M. Roberts. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Let's see. We'll get a tune up. Still not too happy with what I'm seeing on the Surface 3. It's uh, grainy because I'm using OBS Virtual Cam. Um, problem occurred. Why the problem occurred? Uh, you spell it wrong. Let's just go YouTube then. Okay, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. Any bytes yet? No. So it's been 20, 20 minutes now since I sent out the invitation. Oh, this is. Oh, this restarted the recording. Okay. So. I'll be interested to see, see that. Oh, Tony D just woke, woke up. <clears throat> hey, Tony. I'm just <clears throat> hanging out this morning, having the morning coffee. Um, I don't know if you're cam ready. Uh, I sent out uh, invitation. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. I, I just, I haven't been, well, let me, I'm hearing myself in the background. Let me uh, mute my, and surface three. And um, I, I've sent out invitations to several people, you, Ted, uh, Michael, I, I'm going to see if I get Michael up on this thing. Um, Nazim, Randy, and Colin, uh, all haps folks and uh cut your hair. oh yeah yeah I, i've had the haircut you haven't noticed during the uh the weekday broadcast over on twitch yeah i got the haircut and stuff so uh yeah i got it cut short short and neat um i'm just seeing if i can bring something in here if i can find it here now i discovered something i don't know if it's just a way i logged in or whatever but when i try and play something from the desktop it cancels out my microphone, but I can't hear the, the music. So uh, um, I'm trying something different. PFP, FP, let's try that. So you got five, yeah, five online. See, I this is the, how it breaks down. You're the one viewer, okay? But I have myself on the, the desktop. I'm recording. When you record, that counts as a view, okay? I have my Surface 3, and I have my uh, uh, LG Stylo 5, okay? And with you, that's five viewers, okay? So I only have, technically, I only have one viewer. It's you. I've got multiple. See, when, you, when you're when you on, you're, and I'm recording, as you can see. I guess it's up over there, the record. Uh, lights on. I had to reboot. I've been on for... 20 minutes i think but uh the recording thing is saying 16. i was just trying to see if a refresh would do something but uh when you're on it's your uh, you're automatically uh let's see oh let me admit tony up here let's bring tony up let's do that let's say we bring tony up we'll bring tony up can you hear me tony you there yeah can you hear me Oh yeah, I can hear you, 
dude, dude, yeah. yes. <laughs> give me one good second. Let me let me let me get let me get up. Give me one good okay. second. Okay. Take your time. I, I'm just screwing around here and stuff. All right. Trying to. We got Tony D. For those people uh, on the replay, watching on the replay, he, he he broadcasts over there on. Well, you haven't been broadcasting that late that much over on Twitch lately. We're glad to have you. At least I um, the guest feature works still. <laughs> so, oh, we got people. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's telling me I got chat there. Okay, that's an okay. I'm in the the backstage on my main box, and it had a six in the chat button there. So it tells me I had chat in there. If I, I like keeping it on the stage requests because I've got other devices. Up. So Tony D is our, we've uh, eliminated four of the viewers. They're they're all me. Okay, um, you got my PC, you got my Surface Three, you got my LG Stylo Five phone on. That's three, and then when you're recording, that counts as one as well. And um, and so Tony D and myself are the only two that are here, and. Uh, Trying to figure out. Let me see. I'm going to bring the music in here. So stand by. Let me see if this works. Okay, we're going to see if the. Even though it's a risk and I don't know. Oh, I think it. We got it. I got some excellent news for you. Just so you know. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a song here for a minute, Tony. Go for it. Go ahead. It's a Tears for Fear. Everybody it's coming in on my, my iPad mini. Everybody wants to rule the world or shout. Which one? Uh, that's the one. Everybody wants to rule. <laughs> yes, I this am. The little kid is walking to his toy motorcycle. I am top 40 versed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, and then and then some. Hey, it works. Oh, <laughs> and you know what? I think the quality is a lot better. Look it up. Oh my God, that's great. Okay, let's 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 pause that. What's your news there, Tony? Oh, let me pause this thing. That works. What's the news? You still there? You have this going out, or you just running it straight on vocal? What's that? The music? The whole broadcast. Do you have it going to Facebook and YouTube, or no? Oh no, this is just this is just vocal. I don't do the multicast. I don't. Uh, if if they had Twitch, I'd go to Twitch. But uh, the Twitch, you have to. I guess you have to purchase the net, the uh, paid version. Yeah, I'm looking into look, doing that too. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna. What you got? Oh, actually, how are you doing this Saturday? I just woke up, so my apologies. I didn't no, go to bed. No, 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 no. You're good. Are you working this morning? No, I was at work last night. I got off about midnight. Okay, okay. I'm um, going back today is on the 19th. Great. That's good. Yeah. So next week That's is going to be my last week working that shift. Now I go back to days. Um, so I talked to James Garland yesterday. Oh, James. Okay. You remember him? Yeah, he's a guy. He was, he, yeah, James, a radio guy out there in Washington yes. State. Yes. He told me yesterday he had an offer because when I saw him, we was on airtime. Mm -hmm. And he popped up and I saw the alert. And I said, hey, man, where the heck you been? Yeah. And he was like, hey, I've been doing this. I've been doing that. He was running for commissioner for his area. Right. He lost, but he got a little popularity. He has right. an opportunity to have his own channel. On what? I guess local to his area. He's going to have his own channel 24 hours. Oh, the radio channel. Okay. Is he going to be online? He's going to be on Roku. Roku? He's going to be on Roku. <laughs> How so I that? said, I said, okay. I said, so when he said he had an offer for me, I was like, okay, what do you need from me? Because, you know, he does the radio thing. He lets it run. Yeah. Yeah. But he's also... I kind of threw it in his ear. All of us who have done broadcasting or live streaming, 
we could all do like an hour episode a day, send it to him, and he could run it on his channel, no problem. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And I told him, I said, you know me, I'll do the music with no problem, but I don't yeah. want to get you in trouble because of the music issues and all that. And well, he does music, so he's legit. He's got to pay for it, but well, he's got a license. He's, he's got, got a license. license, right? Yeah, because uh, you and me, we give. If we want to broadcast, there's there's licenses out there to do that and stuff. And unless you do it on Mixcloud, because Mix that's what's great about Mixcloud. They already they take care of that. And which don't, I think, we, don't we already have Mixcloud? Don't we already have yeah, Mixcloud? Yeah, you have Mixcloud, but they're going to be limiting their uh, um, the number of times you can do it per month and stuff. There, uh, well, how much how much time you use, and I think me and you could still knock in that time yeah, frame. Yeah, um, yeah. I told him if you can run any of my old episodes of broadcast, do it. That we'll just be on it. I'll just expand our audience. I told them about your show. I told them about right. Ted's show. So all of us who do stuff, if he could run it on his, we could send it to him. We'll mess around and have our own channel. Like I was trying to plan when we was on Haps. But how do we get the Roku channel? Is he gonna tweet it out or something? Or Roku. Do you know do you know what his channel is? JJ is on he would have to have an app because that's what you search for in the Roku. Because I got a Roku mm -hmm. on the back uh uh, the TV back here. Right, because, you know, Information Man, he does his show on Roku. Right. And I've been on there with him. So I told JG, I said, listen, any of the shows that I had that you could see, you could run them, see if it'll fly. Because yeah. if my stuff can fly and everyone's up being on Roku, oh, my goodness. Oh, you already yeah. know where brain's going, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that'd be different. I can watch everybody over here on the TV and stuff. And, uh, Everybody, excuse me, I just woke up. So this oh, is you're all right. You're, 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 you're camera ready. You're so camera. Anybody who's got a problem on morning face, I'm going to quote Rich Roberts. It's your fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, uh, yeah, you're, you're all good and Thank stuff. You, but, uh, um, I did find out something this week uh, as far as that goes with the haps. Yes. Haps, you can't even get on the web page where you say uh, bye, for bye for now. I can't get that anymore. Really? Yeah, I could still log on this phone. I have the app on it. It's my old uh, cell phone. I see and, it. Um, He's not found. I, I see it. I could still uh, get into my back profile. There's no – so there – It's I, I, but the web page is shut down. Wait. As far Wait. as haps. Yeah, There's you get another it. haps up there. There's another one up there. There is – wait a minute. What is this? Yeah. Um, reach is still there. I logged off, but what I want to do is log off and log back in and see. Okay. If we, um, but if you go to haps.tv, yeah. Um, it says it's page. Gone. page yeah. Yeah, I yeah. see it. Yeah. I so it. that that's that's a recent change here because I usually go on there. I I, I hit that page maybe once every couple of days. I just wonder if uh Mark uh, Goodman was pissed off at what I posted the other day. Probably. Um, about I told y'all, I told y'all, cut that mess out. Now we got nothing. Way to go, opinionated. Mother. Well, I, I did something yesterday. If you saw my Twitter feed, there about uh, 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 well, I tagged Audio Boom, and the guy that the next tweet uh, or Twitter handle there, uh, uh, Stuart. He's the uh, current CEO. I've I've had some Twitter exchanges with him mm -hmm. a couple of years ago and stuff. And um, he doesn't have a free app, but Spotify owning anchor does so i sort of i like poking the bear a little bit in a friendly way okay friendly now we have no contact <laughs> well i don't know i think that was probably coming down the pike anyway they, they probably have it on the back burner and then me making a little bit of noise about it they probably uh say okay we'll go ahead and just uh um but have you been on the reach you you still use the reach don't you you said you made like some money on it i've gotten messages I do have the app. I got it on standby. Yeah. Um. Like I said, when we had access to it a couple months ago, I was setting everything up. I was just trying to see if I can go live, and a couple people were well, able to. Yeah, that was with the live. I thought I would have been on it if we could have gone live and stuff, but they, they took a couple that. Of people were able to go live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Um, yeah. So I started setting my stuff up. We all started checking the audio. Check, you know, we was we was going. You know how we were. <laughs> we was going. So it was me. Helen tried to get on. Jeeves was able to get on. Chris Technician was able to get on. Kendra was able to get on. Eric Canosa was able to get on. Right. I was like, oh, and they know me. They were like, listen, Tony, I'm able to get in. Do you want to come on? I said, yeah, invite me. Let me see it. I was starting to get the alerts. 
So I just yeah. going to set it up on like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Okay, yeah. I can also add Instagram. There, it, I was already ready. Yeah, you're you're all over the place. I I, I was already I, ready. I, I would lose. Track. I was already ready. I said, I'm just too old phone. for that shit. I'd probably lose track dude, of it. <laughs> dude, the minute they would have gave me camera access, I had two hours ready to go. Yeah, that's all I'm waiting on. Let me just see. Yeah, I can yeah, see that yeah, camera. Yeah, it's gonna be like, set button. Ready. <laughs> and this is gonna be the face. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yes, sir. Uh, it uh, so I I I I'm on here. Uh, I guess it's I'm saving my vocal usage for the weekends because I don't know. Uh, I think eventually because right now the uh, version is zero point nineteen point two. So they've been doing some things, and I like I said I, coming on this morning, I I noticed something where I can't take my audio. You know, I'm using the main box here. And uh, the audio off the desktop, uh, like I did before, that's different. I'm, I'm not. I got to try it a couple more times to say, okay, that's that's a legitimate change. Your video is pixelated. Yes, and that's the other thing. The pixelation. You're clear as a bell. I'm looking. I have nothing else but just the computer. Yeah, you're you're, you're, you're clear. And what uh, I notice is OBS OBS uses so much. That's what wears everybody's stuff out. Well, I, I think um, I, I've been on here and I tried it without the OBS and uh, on the replay, I'm still pixelated. So I, I think it's where I'm at in a rural area, too. I think that factors in. Because I think you've been up here fine. Even the one we did when I was in New York, that was crystal clear. <clears throat> right, right. So and I don't necessarily put it on your area, but you have a lot of equipment for your primary situation. I got that. The, the primary Twitch, so I never want to interrupt it. Even when we do the Sunday morning thing, you was like, I turned everything off. I'm like, all right, I don't want you to have no issues. Well, no, Sunday morning, I think I got that. I turn everything off, and I go yeah. straight camera and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's all I do. That's, that's the best. I yeah, yeah, and I know that, that it is just like uh, I'm getting I'm getting dialing things in, I guess you could say, in a sense. Yes. Vocal's still in beta, so you know, I, if I'm a little pixelated, I don't care. The audio's great. The audio is always phenomenal. The audio and the video has been phenomenal for me, even yeah. when I do something. Yeah. And but I'm, I look at the I'm, replay on purpose, even with yeah. your shows on Twitch. Yeah. I look at the replays on purpose just to check any glitch. I always tell people I'm editing myself every time right. I broadcast. Right. Now, like see, said, the opportunity we got to go pop our stuff over on his, oh, yeah. Yeah. not everybody's going to see. Right, right. You got to realize JG goes out to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We're not doing nothing but expanding ourselves. And he he was telling me yesterday, we have nothing like Haps. I said, I know, and I keep telling people, they're tired of me talking about it. But there's three of you right oh, now. Don't you stop talking like about it. Now. You know, as much as I uh, I, uh, I keep talking about it, I do miss it. I, I'll, I'm coming to terms now. I do miss it. It's been over a year. And, no, it's going to be something else. It's it's just, you don't want to see a platform go down and stuff like that. But the reality is they have, you know, the the bottom line is they have to make money and stuff like that. If they weren't they making to make money, money, it's only yeah. been seven months since it shut down. Yeah. This month was seven months. And and it's okay. like, so yeah. you're counting just like I am. <laughs> it's only been seven months, but yeah. I understand the business side of it. You're correct. Right. Right. And, uh, but see, just to let you know, Tony, when I, I'm seeing on my surface three, my picture is this picture is a little bit of pixelated. It's a little clearer on the phone, but you you're coming in stellar. You're coming in great on all three platforms. So, I appreciate it. Um, so that right there tells me something that it's probably I'm in a rural area, my internet and stuff like that. And uh, I'm glad I didn't switch internets because I just saw a post. Uh, I'm waiting. Oh, on you them. still can get on. Okay. Oh wow. That's reach. Oh reach. Okay. That's okay. reach. That me. You don't have to go live up here at all. No, no, no. So it's that's what I'm missing. I need to go yeah. live. That's all I need. Uh, I, do, does anybody have it though? No, no. See, I think no. they're just they're just back. Uh, they're backboning or they're they're tailing off of TikTok. They're using TikTok because there's which actually I've deleted off my phones. I haven't deleted the bookmark or the account, but I'm not using it anymore and stuff. I, I'm I'm weaning. My, I I never really got into it that much anyway. There's so, there's so much other stuff as far as and even Instagram. I pop on there once in a while because there's one or two people that are on that are on there. This yes. one gentleman, uh, he sort of ventured off at Twitter, but he's over there. Um, he, he's ex Air Force, uh, Bernie Goldbach. He used to fly C 141s, as far as I go. And uh, yeah, he goes back a ways. I've known him since the, I've known him for a number of years. I've actually met him down here in uh, um, in Pennsylvania at his mother's funeral and stuff. I, I, right, I, I right, made, right. 
and uh, he's a great guy. You know, he – on certain things we don't agree, with, but I still respect the hell out of him because he was an Air Force pilot and he was yeah, – Even officer. though you don't agree doesn't mean you got to have an issue. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah. You, it's, it's, yeah. He's but he is a good guy. He's he's a te- he's a professor, teacher professor over there in Limerick uh, Institute of Technology. At, uh, he teaches the college level kids. I've heard about that school in a long time. Wow, I yeah. haven't heard that name in a long time. Limerick. <laughs> wow. Limerick. Oh, you've been there? No, I've heard of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've heard about Limerick the same way people have heard about Warner Roberts. I remember that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that for some reason. Yeah, it's over there in Ireland. So maybe somebody visited through there and stuff like there. You got Cork, Ireland. Uh, um, he used to live in Cork, but he uh, he moved his family up to Limerick, uh, closer yeah. to the job and stuff like that. And uh, it's always good. To... And then um, you know, uh, uh, well, Walt, he's over there. I'm I'm not sure where in Ireland he's at. He's, he's maybe it's a whole maybe, damn maybe, island. Maybe, he's uh, walking the whole damn island every morning. He is walking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe that's. Maybe that's where you heard him. Uh, heard Limerick was uh, through Walt because he's been through Limerick too. This is true. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. True. yeah. So, um, but uh, as far as a TikTok, the, you know, other than I, if I see something you did, I'll probably look at it, or else uh, Walt. But I'm not doing anything else on TikTok. I'm just no, using. I, I, I just backed off. I'm strictly uh, selective viewing now and stuff like that because of the. Uh, the recent news that has come, I, I guess the big thing that, that, that jumps out at me is they're associating it now, and, and we'll see what paves out and stuff like that, but the initial report that it's running equal to uh, what Huawei is, and I, I I got firsthand knowledge about what Huawei could do, and that scared the shit out of me. What's yeah. crazy is it's the same thing that Google's been doing for the past decade. <laughs> But the difference, though, Tony, Google is here in the United States. We, we and it, it just and I don't want to say Ch- China is not. Our, they're not our enemy. They're our adversary. There's a, and you know that's There's like one step one step away from being our enemy. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, but they're yes, our yes. adversary and, and all that and stuff like that. So you know that gives me you know the, it's not the Chinese people. It's the Chinese government that I have some issues with because of all the the intellectual. Uh, um uh technology that they've uh borrowed from us permanently <laughs> we're, <laughs> given. <laughs> we're given <laughs> yeah, yeah. well yeah yeah they've taken it off the shelf but that's and that comes back to you know and i could say that we um uh, we've had some people that weren't watching the uh watching the door i guess in a manner of speaking <laughs> i think they left a lot of things available yeah, that's true too. Yes, yes. A lot of things. I mean, people don't remember the agreement that happened back. Um, I think it was during the Clintons. There was an right. agreement with China. That whole NAFTA thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Had the um, everything was going outsourced. Right. So yep. I can't necessarily be mad with a lot of these governments. We yeah. Everything that we yeah. had, then we decided to shut it down. Now yep. we mad they got it. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's already gone. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, so the doors um, have been open. The hacks have been hacked. I mean, they hacked everything we got. This private and military. I'm just sitting there, like, yeah, yeah. What are we going to do? Still protect yeah. what you can. Yeah, exactly. Because hey, you got people who are trying to pay our bills overseas. Yeah. How many times they tell us, "Don't do this, don't do that," but we had to. You have to. Yeah, it's uh, the yeah. internet. Like, uh, like I said, I'm gonna uh, probably later this afternoon. I'll be finishing up my Christmas shopping, but the vast majority of it, boom, I did it right here at the desk. Yes, and and stuff like that, and that's a that's a new that's not it's not the new norm. It's the norm now, where you know, just five years ago, I wouldn't even think of you know maybe one or two things, but you know, it's just like it's so convenient. I don't have to. I can sit here in my freaking sweatpants and t shirt, and uh, I don't have. To- when COVID hit, everybody's going to be in Ready Player One mode. That was another factor. Yeah, I, I, you you brought that up before, Tony. Yeah, that's true. That that is uh, true and stuff like that. So it's just. Uh, um, as far as that goes and stuff. So, but that's good to hear that you're going to go back on days and stuff. So you're going to rotate. Is that a rotational thing that schedule you do? Once a year, we got to uh, rotate one shift to swing shift. Oh, okay. 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 Which is fine. Um, right. Right. Been having a good time. Right. Hasn't really been an issue. My leadership doesn't have a problem with me and my coworkers. We've been working everything out. So it was comfortable. I really didn't want to come to this shift because with Jason, I wanted to be available. 
Yeah, yeah. And I yeah, wasn't yeah. as affordable yeah. being up here. And then the, yeah. the shift change messes with me up here. Yeah, yeah. It, takes Last a time bit, it took me like a month to readjust because I couldn't yeah. go to sleep before I would go to work. Then I would go to work the past. They'd be like, why are you tired? I'm like, are you stupid? What are you thinking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how they act. And I actually had one yeah. of my was trying to cover me the other day and it kind of pissed me off. Me and this yeah. dude were friends, but now he got a promotion. He's trying to pull the job. And I hate to say it, but I'm a union steward. You can't pull yeah. a job on me for real. I could pull my oh, job. Oh, down. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I hate to do it. And they sit here like, that's not nothing. Okay, you don't know. You don't realize what I do know. If right. I don't thank anything for being civil service rich, yeah. when you join the union and you learn some of them civil liberties, oh, my God. Yeah. Well, yeah, That that's that's one of the, the things that this not country is on. Not to be lazy, not yeah. to get over, but just realizing the civil, it is priceless. Yeah. I'll never stop being in the union. Yeah, yeah. Never. Because they direct your focus on what you're able to access. Everybody tells you to look into this or do your research. They never give you the proper direction. The union gave me proper direction. Well, that's the, they're, they've, they're structured that way, too. They're structured yes. to, wow, to where they could do that. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I, I guess, I, the, you know, I'm not really pro or anti-union it's just something that's uh, embedded in the uh, american fabric here that with country we live in so you know it, it's it's built this country you mm -hmm. know there's some people that have some 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 things against it because of certain you know certain positions they take and all but all that aside it, you know you look at what they were to uh, uh they protect the, the the worker and stuff i uh where i work at there's a uh, multiple um contractors yeah, yeah for, uh, various construction jobs and stuff like that and um there was one guy he uh it was his choice he he left the he left the electric uh contracting position to go into the site uh position as an electrician so he went and, he went um straight corporate instead of being contractor yes yeah and uh let's just say he took a lot of flack from the union which i didn't really like because it's like okay he was in the union it's his decision but uh, they 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 were really defensive as far as uh, you know they oh they you stole the guy from us it's like it was his choice if you look at it you know he was just looking at where yeah. he you know because uh, these positions have been offered to other people other contractors that I've seen over the years and stuff like that yes. and it's it, it, it's one of those things they ruffle their feathers and you know a month from now nobody's going to know the difference and stuff it's just like the, and um, but the guy's a solid electrician and stuff like that and I guess he was just looking at something more the long term and I guess and sometimes in the, and I didn't realize in the trades contract uh, uh, unions there you work for one company start started as journeyman you may go to three different other companies because of the union mm -hmm. so you know it, i i it took me a while to fathom it's like you, you don't stay with one company no we're, we're the union is progressing you're always progressing yes you progress up the chain to, to you know to be a higher level it's Some part of your they don't learn anything and what they get mad about is they're not able to advance any more than where they are right i right. had to talk with somebody about that about five years ago veterans Right. They're specifically civil service was designed for the military when they came home. Period. That mm -hmm. in the story. A lot of veterans get on and swear they should be able to get any and every promotion up there. This is true. But always remember, this is a core. Once they hire you, they did their job. Right. We qualify. Yeah. We're eligible for others. When we yeah. get denied, they got to over justify it. Oh, OK. Beyond experience. But once they hire you, that's it. And that's concrete. That's yeah. rich. Yeah. I knew a lady who was about to do an EEO on it, and they had to tell her. She didn't realize. I was like, okay. So I told them, I said, listen, I'm not even going to fight. Me being a mechanic on a depot base, as much right. as I would love to be a 12 or a 13, the core of money on any base is in maintenance on those planes. Right. If you don't get those planes out of there and they don't keep flying, y'all don't have a job at your base. <laughs> right. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. No, I, I, I see where you're going for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just, uh, I was like, I'll stay in the toolbox. They said, yeah. why don't you get promoted? I said, listen, I'm maxed out with overtime. Right. And I can get comp. And I got sick. And I can do, I said, well, wh where would I go? I can clear, legally, I can clear 80 a year. Right. It's out of degree. They said, you don't right. want to do that without the overtime? I said, a bunch of UGSs is working the same amount of hours at a flat rate. Me, if I work extra hours, I get paid extra for it. Right. Do the math in your head. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it's mainly about the retirement status after a while. When you hit that GS level. Well, no, they, that, that's a that's a big uh, the nugget at the end there, the retirement and stuff like that. You got to look. And that's 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 the thing. Now, uh, this one guy I was talking about, he, he's he been in, he had substantial, um, some, to his father-in-law, I guess, some um, things dealing with the stocks and stuff like that. So that's why he, I guess he decided, so I go, oh, I'll look at this. This is a little bit better as far as doing this. And he's still a young guy. He's in his... Uh, early thirties and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know, his family and, uh, and whatnot. So, uh, um, you know, this is just the decisions you have to do. And I guess when you see something like that and then seeing, uh, you know, you're, you're working on uh 15s as a, a, you know, a contractor, right? No, I'm civil service. Or civil service. Okay. That, that, that that's right. Sorry. Um, but you know, you just see those different aspects of what we can do here and mm -hmm. in this country and stuff like that. And, uh, um, and uh, I know how much they use those planes when I was over there. Yeah. That's oh, I'm yeah. Yeah. I used to. I mean, the F-15, Tony, the F-15 is still my favorite because I, I used to love when they use those power climbs. They they, they would just straight up. And it was like wild, wild. I love and, that. Too. I've and, always uh, loved the 111s. I've worked on 15s, 16s. Oh, you worked on the 111s? I never worked on them. But they oh, you used, never worked on them? Okay. When I was a kid, that was my favorite okay. plane. because it Yeah, did they everything. used to have those uh, up there at Plattsburgh Air Force Base. That was the first Air Force uh, base I saw when I was a kid. I was uh, I was in Civil Air Patrol. I was 13, and uh, uh, they had the 111s up there. And I wanted when I went up there, I wanted to be uh, – the first thing I saw was the cops with the dog. I wanted to be a cop. Yeah. And then it was like 30 minutes later, we're over in the crash house and I saw the fire department says, oh, screw the cop. I want to be a fireman because they, yeah, they everybody wants to be a cop or a fireman. Do you ever know anybody who was ever at George Air Force Base? Georgia. Uh, that's out in California, isn't it? It's out of California, New Mexico. There was something that came down regarding. Oh, New Mexico. OK, OK. That's an old base there. Something came down about people who had eye conditions at that base. Mm hmm. You get a chance to dig that story up. It came out of August because I was talking to somebody and it came to me. I'm also in the VFW. I'm a service. Right, officer. right. Yeah, I know you're in the V. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah there's yeah. a lot of um, anything as regards disability or VA benefits. I keep my eyes and ears. Now, open. George is in, where'd you say that's in New Mexico? George was in New Mexico. Yeah, let me pull this up because they well, said some they, people. When did they close that down? Oh, was my God. Part? I don't know. That was before me. I know that. It's probably during Grand Rudman. That's when uh, I was almost going to get pulled out of the fire department because they, they wanted to reduce the amount of firefighters, and they were going to—they offered me to be a cook or a uh, a cop. And uh, I had just come back from uh, the Philippines, and I was able to do some finagling because this one guy I know, uh, um, Dan Seely, he came back from a reeval. He was on a medical, and it was up there at Hanscom, and he always. When up at the casual bar, if, if uh, Dan Seely was there, you always you always bought him a couple of Crown Royals. He loved Crown yeah, Royals. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. So, uh, he was able. He knew somebody on Randolph that was able to get me a, a, an assignment over to Korea, and then I spent. I, I was there at Hanscom for a year, and then I was out and turned some heads. It's like, how the hell did you do that? I, says, mm -hmm. I didn't. Do it. I just. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> and you screen share. You know how to screen share up here? Yeah, hang on, hang on. I see it. Hang on. Let me uh, let's see if I can display this. It shut down in 1992. That was before I joined. Now uh, this is a big thing right now. Let me change this to this. Okay, let me change it. Mm -hmm. Um, how do I do this? I gotta. I think I gotta move these tiles. There you go. Okay, there we go. All right, this is a big thing right now. We have the oh lead base. Okay, lead base. The child that lived or went to daycare, you were probably supposed to unseal loads of lead base. I mean, lead, lead based paint, but there was also the asbestos contamination. There was the toxic, the um, hazardous toxic and radioactive waste. A lot of people had dry eye issues out there. Okay. So there you go. The, there it what is. What you say uh, was a mechanism? Was it the water thing like uh, Camp Lejeune or? Let me see what we got here. That's interesting. Yeah, it's similar to the Camp Lejeune issue. I'm just okay. So it's a water that makes me think Georgia, George, George Air Force Base. Yes, George Air Force Base. Okay, I'm thinking Air that Force close. The soil under was contaminated with hazardous levels of chlordane and other organochloride pesticides. Whew. 
Oh, I've never even heard of that. Good, right, good. right. Oh. See, I got to keep my eyes open for all of this because when they start fighting for everything. If they were, if it's pesticides, they were spraying it and it probably got into the ground, into the water table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's what happened here where I live at. Uh, um, everybody thought it was the farms that contaminated the, the wells here. The well, the one well at the back here for the water department. And it wasn't mm -hmm. it was actually a golf course that's right next door to the, the farm here and stuff like that. All the pesticides that runs out and uh, the pesticides, that's nasty shit. Pesticides have been nasty shit from the 80s. We all remember the DDT issues that was killing the bald eagles. Age. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, uh, I always mention uh, when I was a kid, the first time I came is the weekly reader used to get as an elementary school. Remember those? Yeah, the missus is having a good birthday. morning, missus. He says, Tony says good morning. morning. <laughs> I always hear in the background. And I, I know, up. I know you got the hashtag. I, when you when you first did that, I go, oh, you're a hashtag now. And the she hashtag. goes, what is that? <laughs> Well, you know what a hashtag is. Yeah. yeah, she knows what hashtags is. I Absolutely. Yeah. She is a riot, dude. She is a riot. Do you hear me? What's that? Woohoo, I've made it in the world. Yeah, she made it in the world yes, because she of has. the hashtag. Yeah. She is an absolute riot. I got to tell you, I heard her that one morning and I was dying laughing. She is a trip. Well, you know, that I could tell you, uh, it was a couple years, and she'll attest to this, a couple years ago, I'd be on here and I would have everybody to be, you know, squeaky quiet and stuff like that. Wouldn't be in here eating breakfast. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's right. And I hear her eating right now. I I can tell she's eating. <laughs> yeah, she's. Uh, I, I said earlier before you came on here. She's she she has she has her desk that's usually out in the living room. She got a mm -hmm. small desk. She moved it over here because we got the Christmas tree. I'll put a picture up on Twitter on the Christmas tree. She put the Christmas tree up and stuff like that. So it's just. Uh, um, I say oh, she, when she moved the desk, I said, "Oh, you're you're." In, you're uh you're encroaching on my my space here you know because you want her there you cut that no, out. no i'm just i just it's all it's all good fun it's all joking oh, i keep telling him we can buy another house with a room just for him <laughs> keep it up rich keep yeah. it up <laughs> no you he can <laughs> she's a trip uh we're we're, we're gonna go out for breakfast this morning we just decided that oh it would just be lazy and stuff like that so Is we're there just a Bob babies near you What's that? Is there a Bob Evans near you? The closest Bob Evans is uh, we go by it. Uh, oh, when, way, right? where, where's that at? Elmira, oh, yeah. It's out Elmira Way. Uh, it's about a good 40-minute ride and stuff you like that. No, 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 no. No. Well, if I'm out there, we, we, we go on shopping. You know, We're in an area where we got Binghamton. It's, it's The Binghamton, Vestal, Triple Cities area is about 30, 40 minutes to the east and it's the west Stewart, Binghamton, Syracuse, Rochester, and Buffalo, all up there, right? Well, I'm I'm close to Binghamton. Syracuse is about a, an hour and a half, to hour forty minutes north and okay. stuff like that. So okay. you know, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm like central, uh, right here on the New York Pennsylvania border. You know, it's Good right Lord. right out right outside of Wego, New York, and stuff. It's rural here. It's I, I grew up in Appalachian, New York. You know, remember the uh, Godfather movie where they uh, I think it was a, they they mention it. A, they had a big mafia boss in the in the early fifties, and mm -hmm. they called it they called it Appalachian. It's actually Appalachian, New York. That's Appalachian. Ah. Yeah, Appal Appalachian. It's not Appalachian, but you can you know, when you look at it, you, that's that's how they pronounce it. But it's Appalachian. Appalachian. And, uh, uh, the school bus I uh, I took into school every morning drove by the house where the mafia. <laughs> big meeting was and stuff like that. Oh, I guess you're off of Interstate 86. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, like it's a yeah. stone throw right out out here and stuff like that. Well, Binghamton so, is close. Yeah, you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Tioga cool. County and stuff like that. So Good it's, Lord, uh, you're out there in the middle of nowhere. No, I, I love it. I, you know, I just, but the, the, the missus is a different story. She, she grew up, she grew up here also. So uh, I met her when well, I was well, she's home. Yeah, she's home then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is home for us. It is just like we uh, we were, um, I guess, our last duty assignment. Uh, well, we I thought I was going to retire out there at uh, McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas. And yeah. uh, and I got one, uh, I got, uh, I had to take one last tour over to Dakota. And then um, a house, the house we live in now, well, my mother-in-law, she, uh, she sent us uh, 
information on it and we turned it down at first and then two months three months later it, it popped back up something we said oh I'll let somebody else buy it and then she says well they the, they fell and then we looked at it it's 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 over 100 years old but it's solid it, it has has a really? lot of work yeah it's 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 a solid house it's been around for a while and stuff but it's it's got some character and the one thing i like about where i'm at it, it reminds me the street i grew up on where that's about 10 15 miles down the road mm -hmm. and uh that's it's all congested now it's just like it's gotten very uh built up and stuff like that and yes. you know um but uh i like the elbow room and stuff and uh but we're, we're getting getting there with some we got a second internet provider here but uh i saw your post there is that true they're they're talking about leaving we got some internet we got we spectrum but there's this other service that's coming in that um somebody's having a fit because they're they got yoke from the town to park somewhere down east river road while they're working and somebody one of the board members probably rose cole because she lives down there is having a fit so they're like they don't need this crap you know, so they're, is that where they're all those? They're parked off the. They're not on the road. They're, they've got a parking area, right? Yeah. Well, somebody they said it's okay to park on my property. Uh, the town gave them a variance or whatever to go ahead and do that. It's so business. they can stage their equipment. Yeah. Oh and, wow! Wow. Uh, uh, the only board member that lives down there is Rose Cole. So oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, a it's it's a town. Yeah, we got some we got some real winners on our town board and stuff like that. Real winners. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm, 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 that's all I can say. At night. It's like they're nice people, but they they, they're they're, they they don't want you know they don't see the progress. And you know when this, I may switch to this other uh, service, but it's supposed to be better than Spectrum. You can't um, have progress without some pain. What's that? You can't have progress without some pain. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's that's, that's a true. No statement. sacrifice, no victory. The old wicked 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 so it's just uh um but that's a that's a big thing here where i'm at because it's rural um we're one of three spots in new york state that uh, i guess uh got this grant to, to put this i mean we're talking i mean let's just say my picture is grainy now it'd be yes. crystal clear it, that's Which different. is a spectrum yeah spectrum it used to be roadrunner is jumping up and they're trying to come here because i got cox but cox has okay. the best I, aren't they, I thought they were associated with Spectrum. That might be why they're here because AT and T was down here about five years ago running oh, that fire, and they yeah. were killing it. Yeah, yeah, they were killing it. Yeah, but killing what were they? It. What were they offering for a monthly charge though? That's the big thing. The internet's pretty much about a hundred dollars a month. The Wi Fi. Okay. Now, being that we're using this so much, I don't blame them. Mind are you, you ca are you capped? Wifi. Um, me, no, I used to hit okay. about a terabyte a month. I used to go over. Okay. With apps, I was running over. <laughs> it was, well, it was crazy, dude. I would be at work. It would wear out on my phone. Then I would use my iPad. It would wear out there. Then I would come home and my home Wi Fi would wear out. That was the biggest problem with apps. They was using oh, so much data. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah a yeah. whole lot of bandwidth. So that's what I think they're trying to fix. They fix their bandwidth, they can kick back in. Right. Because it yeah. was crazy. But everybody, a lot of people doing YouTube and Twitch like you. Yeah. Um, and that, that eats up the data a lot. The YouTube and Twitch doesn't. Oh, That's really? Not those apps. Yeah, when we do the fantasy football thing every oh. weekend, no issues. Really? I would yeah. figure that eat up more data than, really? That That's what was wrong with apps. You can do an hour anywhere. When you had an hour oh, and a half. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I, the, the restream is fine. Um, Eve. Evmux is another platform that I, I, I checked that out. It looks interesting. I'm going to have to try that. It looks, uh, it looks, uh, you know, it looks just, just looking at the web page. It does look like restream as far as that goes and stuff. And that, but the packages are, you know, I'm going to have to try that because it, it looks. And did that, that's just come out here recently, or I guess? I just saw that advertisement. I think it was last week or this week. I sent it to Ted too. They okay. look like they're trying to take out StreamYard. You're going to have to be pretty good to take out StreamYard because oh, everybody. Yeah, 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 that's that's yeah, that's right up there with Zoom and everybody. Everybody that, uh, um, it, you know, as far as uh, you got Zoom, but StreamYard, StreamYard, I've used, I've used it. I think I, I haven't used it as much as I've used Restream lately. You know, I think it's been I've over a year it. or so. Ted uses it. Glick uses it, Smoke uses it, 
So I did restream just so I would see what the difference would be between the two. Here's my advantage. My restream doesn't go to Twitter. StreamYard goes to Twitter. But StreamYard also, you can't pull any comments down. Everybody's having an issue with uh, Twitter. The comments, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. the comments not popping up doesn't help me. When you go to Twitter with anything, you got to pull up another device and it'll look like Periscope. That's the only way right. you see the comments. Now this uh, e Evox or Emacs, that, that can go it. to Twitter too, or go to um, YouTube. It goes to Facebook and YouTube like this does, from what okay. I see. Okay. If you're going you're to pay, you pay for the other. I think, it's a tw I think I saw Twitch in there too. Let me look. Because with, with um, Restream, Restream went to any two that you would join. You, you, you join, yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe this this uh, Evox, Max, or whatever. Was it E-V-M-A-X, right? E Evmux. Evmux, okay. Because I got it written down here because I, this one, let me change it to Evmux. Okay. But, uh, I, I did see the, the icon for Twitter there, or Twitch, I should That's say. That's probably their social media connection. Doesn't mean they can broadcast to them. That's a mistake I made with a couple of places. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. They all got okay. social media links. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Like both you had the Twitch and you was ready for that, or they had the Twitter. You was like, okay, if they're going to do that, we'll be good. They got social media to, so where they can advertise on there. People can right. do their okay. Plays. Okay. But I, I'm going to be definitely looking at that. But right now, I I, I do like the restream as far as. Uh, I love it. I love Restream. I'm going to yeah. give it a two months. Yeah. Um, January, I'm going to do StreamYard for two months and see how that works. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. I can, I can pop up. There. Is it, well, the, the one good thing about both of them, is, all it is, you just send a link and you hit the link as a, um, uh, you know, a, if you want to, if you're inviting someone, that person doesn't have to, they just have to hit the link and you, you're on the freaking screen. Yes. You just got to have your, your, uh, your camera ready and stuff like that and mic ready. And by the prices, Restream was the best, but it's looking like Evmux is going to take them out. I thought they had the same price point, though. Evmux about a dollar less. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it that? I thought, okay. I'm looking at it now. It's a dollar max. Their basic package is 19 a month. Restream is 20 a month. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're beating them by a dollar. So what they're trying oh, to you do. Said Ted uses StreamYard, so. Yes, he does. I always thought he used restream and stuff. That's interesting. I think I thought he paid for restream. No, he's doing um, what you call it, Streamyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, he just had a broadcast up here. He did his. Uh, I think he he ended up saying, and if you listen to it, I'm not going to kid him. He's, he's a good guy. I like I like you. Um, he goes with Elon Musk. And I, yeah. I had to replay it a couple times because I said, "Am I really hearing what I'm hearing?" He said, "Elon Musk bought Apple." I heard that. Did you hear that? Like, yes, I heard that because I heard it. Let me find out that's yeah, well, true. He, he was, I, I think, and I've done that myself where I, I think what I'm saying is what I'm saying. Then when I hear the replays, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, I did a couple of broadcasts. I'm like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. You don't, you, 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 as a that. broadcaster, you're so freaking, I want to say this, and you say it, and then you're not really thinking about what you said like three words back. Right yes, yes, you'd be right there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes but I, I caught that and stuff. but uh yeah he had his uh late night parody he, i think it was only like six seven minutes long there he had that on the, yeah on, i will listen to it and work i try to replay everybody unless yep. i'm on you on twitch because my twitch yeah. isn't working my phone i don't know what's going on with twitch and that login really I, yeah i haven't been able to log in i could log into one but if i try to do it somewhere else it gives me an issue now can and you I'm view on twitch on your uh your phone no i can't you i got can't, it on my really? laptop Wow. Yeah, I can't. I, I couldn't log in. It, it was pissing me off. It was making me wow. mad. And that's why I was like, listen, if you use Restreaming to go to YouTube, I'll be able to catch the replays. That's why I was still yeah. replaying it so I can yeah. see. It. I'll listen to it yeah. while I'm at work. Yeah. Because yeah. I, 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 I watch a lot of Twitch on the uh, when I'm home on the Wi-Fi on the phone and stuff like this. The morning before uh, getting going, I was watching. Well, he he was actually on YouTube. Randy's still, he's still working on his boat. I think today they're supposed to get the toilet done, though. I, you know, I just I think the game plan, or the schedule is he's going to be possibly sailing Monday or Tuesday, I guess, and stuff. He better nice get the toilet boat. done before he gets his ass out there. He's damn right. I, yeah. I'm going to sit at a must. Get that knocked out the park before you hit your yeah. butt out there and get stuck like Gilligan. Yeah. Well, I think with him there, he's getting a lot more done and stuff like that because I think he's a little more forceful than his uh, than uh, uh, Vanjie and his son Cole and mm -hmm. stuff. Like that. They, I think they did a lot just to get the the basic. The, it's just the the little nitnoid stuff now that uh, 
Um, but that's a trip watching his uh, video, especially as he's driving through Philippines. I, mean, I, I got some great flashbacks of being over there and stuff. That's right, what I right, enjoy, right. enjoy right. about him. He, and the amount that he shares is just unreal as far as Randy's going. going. And he, he just does his own thing without Karen. I got to give him that. He yeah. got a hundred oh, yeah. 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 people sitting there. Yeah. Oh yeah, he 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 is a I, I call him the goat. He's a goat as far as in my eyes, as far as barking, and he, he's very personable too. So you know that's that's a uh, good aspect for him. Well, he interacts with any and everybody, which is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. He he says he says what's up to everybody, and Michael has always bigged up Randy. Randy's pretty much going to be the godfather out of all of us because right. everybody came through him. I, I told mm-hmm. Michael, like I met Randy before you, but I've been rolling with you hard. Right, right, right. It was you. It was it was actually Randy. And Revolution McGinnis was how I met a bunch of people. And oh, then, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a boom. I just that's how I met everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to be Tony. Careful. Hang on from. I got you on the earbuds here, so sure. I got. I'm gonna get my. I get a refill here. So hang on yeah, for a minute. Good. Just uh, let me turn this on. Unmute it there. Okay. Take your time. Now I, I can hear you on the uh, the earbuds. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. <laughs> Tony said hi again. Hi, Mr. How you doing? Okay. I gotta get this coffee here. Well, get your coffee, man. Got fog out here this morning. Looking out the kitchen window. As far as that goes, we got fog out, fog and frost. It's cloudy here. Yeah. Um, it was close to supposed to have been raining, but it's been cloudy here, so. Yeah. Uh, this setup is good. This is I, I appreciate you coming up, Tony, because it, it gives me it reassuring that the, this this platform works as far as to bring somebody up, and we still have like a little bit of a flavor of the haps, the old haps and stuff, and. And you like I said, screen share, which is a plus to me. I see you can do that. That's a good thing. Yes. Well, I'm getting used to, you know, once I figured out my my volume or my sound audio problem where I didn't I didn't even have the freaking knob turned up <laughs> at those times before. So I got that mental checklist in my head to uh, to be able to do and stuff like that. But uh, um, and what is it? Uh, so the the guys I sent, uh, uh, I, I was I was almost hoping Michael was going to come up Bathurst. Did you so message I, him on Twitter? Yeah, I I, I direct message him. Uh, I, I direct message him, Nazim. You know, Bathurst, Bathurst get on my nerves. He wants to message people, then he don't want to answer nobody's messages. People, yeah. We done told him about that. Me and James got on him about that last year. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So you always and uh, you let's see. And Nazim, it's it's two forty seven in Italy. In the Philippines, it's it's late at night. I figured Randy might might pop on, but um, but yeah, I sent a message to Colin. I don't know what's what's in in England right now. It's it's uh, one forty seven in the afternoon. So Colin, Ted, Ted's probably busy going into the city. Uh, Randy, Nazim, Michael, and you. You check the people backstage to see who's available on your guests. Look on that oh, guest. No, it, it, pop, it, it pops up. It, it, you get a number and stuff. When you popped in, I saw that, you know, you Good. and I monitored it. Good. And we're still sitting at five, too. So, you know, so like I said, it, it's an early Saturday morning. They're, they're, they're not into the, you know, you and me, we're still into that haps early. Get on the freaking broadcast stream. And, and I'm proud of you. You're doing real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it just uh especially with uh the winter months coming here now and stuff, I'll probably be on here. Well, you know, the thing is when I retire, I'm 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 down to about 120 was it 122 days? I'm looking at medically retiring next year. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The numbers got it. How, will you lose anything as far as your percentage? Um I was National Guard. Yeah. I could have 23 years of service under uh-huh. the books, and that's what you got to do it by. So I looked at that, and with me going through the divorce, that's my only caution. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's my only caution. Oh, okay. Because uh, the, the, 
the spouse gets so much from that retirement then? No, we're not going after retirement. It's just child support for Jason because she'll have primary custody. Oh, support. okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm playing my cards right, playing my numbers right. Of yeah, you got to look at everything and stuff. Then I still can't believe I'm. Uh, I had a little blurb uh, last month that the missus uh, she set me straight. Where I was just like, nah, maybe I should just still. And she says, no, you you've you've worked for like over fifty freaking years now. It's time for you just to kick back a little bit. And, uh, fifty years, I'm going to give her. Um, unless you need the money, she's correct. Yeah. Well, the, the thing. You don't. I put it this way: I'm not. I'm not poor i'm very fortunate in what i have because of the misses but yes. i'm not overly ri- but she said and she she says like she wanted me like i have i've always said she wanted me to retire at 62 i could have yes. retired at six you know um three years ago and uh, i said no i'll go to 67 and it's like uh that, the guys i work with they still say oh you're not gonna go you want that maximum security social security age i know what you're doing and i understand yeah. that but for me my body's talking uh, yeah. What's that? I'm sorry. What's that again? I wasn't left the job if you wanted to retire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ch- uh, yeah. The missus was working. She, if I was going to retire, she wouldn't have left her job. But then again, the bonehead she would have worked for. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. she's not working. Yeah. There's other job opportunities. So I like I've already, I got a whole list of them and stuff like that. If I have to work. Ooh, when I retire, I'm not working no damn more. For what? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but well, here's here's what the miss. Well, and I even said it. So if you if you retire and you work something, because there's some people I work with that I mean they're retired. They're they're I mean these guys are like in their seventies, and we got one guy that's eighty, which I, God bless them. Yes. Uh, and uh, he says I still have fun coming in. It's like oh, okay, you know, it's it's he, there, it's only one or two days during the course of the week when they come in. And uh, as far as that goes, filling the gaps and, and whatnot. But uh, um, as far as go back into, I don't know, there's other things. You know, this is like, uh, but it's it, it, you got to, to be able, I guess, I don't want to say I'm getting in my fucking golden ages, but, you know. <laughs> Honestly, yes, you are. Let's be real. Let's be real. Once you well, just- yeah, yeah, but I, 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 I still feel like I'm 20 years younger than I'm actually at. Okay, so. your body going to tell you you ain't. Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, you know, it, it'll be it'll be a new experience and stuff like that because um, it'll be a, a completely different routine. It'll be a more relaxed routine because, uh, yeah. And that that's the thing. I guess I look at over the, the years where I've been at and stuff like that. You know what? I, I it's looking appealing just to sort of kick back and not worry uh, about things I don't need to be worrying about anymore. Me and the wife used to fuss about it. She said, "If you retire, what you going to do?" I said, "Nothing." You gonna be able to afford to do nothing? I said I'm doing the numbers before I leave. Yeah. You gonna sit right now? Well, Listen, I will go to the gym four times a week and not care anymore. Yeah, but the thing, the, the, and I think you'll agree with this, Tony. The thing is, my my old man used to say when he had 30 years at IBM. When he retired, he took two weeks off and then he went right back to work. He says, and that's my choice. He, he yes. did, and, and the thing is, he 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 wasn't tied to that new company he was with. But he, he still wanted to keep busy. He was still interested. And it was actually it was similar to what he was doing, but it was a, a whole different environment as far as where he was working compared to IBM. So, yeah, and, he, uh, uh, yes. he so probably, you know, he, he always said, you don't really retire. You just close one, down one chapter of your life and you open another one to, to see what you can explore as far as that goes. Yes. And so, so it's just uh, – so that's interesting and is whatnot. So – and uh, – but uh, – so what do you got planned for today? I'm um, taking it easy. I got to pick up Jason for the weekend. Mm-hmm. Okay. His birthday is to, uh, is Monday. Okay. And mother and I plan a birthday party for him tomorrow because we'll both be working or whatever. But now was the older your older child there? He 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 ended up. Uh, yeah, he, he had, moved. He but moved he had up. a birthday. He had a birthday, right? His birthday was Monday. Yes. Okay. 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 This is the last one. Monday, okay. so I did give him a call. Yeah. Um, you know, he's trying to get himself situated and adjusted down there. Yeah. You know, money's been an issue. And I sent yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can do what you can do. Yeah. 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 And, you know, I talked to him and making sure he's all right. He was ready to get out of here. He was so miserable and I was feeling so bad, man. I just told him I wanted him to come here so he had nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about bills. Well, he, he has a place to go to if he has to go to. Yes. And I left that door. He was ready. He's at that age. And I know yeah. that age. I got to get away from everybody. Right. I know that age, so it hurts. 
But I gave him the 18 months at the graduation. I thank yeah. God for that opportunity more than anything that I was yeah. able to do that. And I'm grateful. So it's been it's a very busy time of year for me. My birthday, both of their birthdays, and then Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh that's a thing. Yeah. It's like it's usually me after Christmas. That's when uh you got the misses and uh uh, well, actually, there's a break. Then it's the, the kids are in the summertime. But yeah. it's just like once you get done with one holiday, you got to think about the next uh, event and stuff like that with the family and all that. Exactly. So, so. Oh, I um, I got some. I don't know if you heard. Um, Top Gun Maverick is coming to Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus the 28th. Yes. Um, you can rent it or buy it on other platforms, but it's going to be on there. Yeah. Yeah. And are you? Huh? I got it online. I saw it. Oh. <laughs> I gotcha. But yeah, I will be watching it. <laughs> okay. I might and, um, on Plus next year. I might subscribe. I know you're... Um, um, oh, let me see if I can find this here. Top Gun movie. Uh, what, uh, that's, uh, what's the name of that movie? It's the um, the Black Aviator that was over in Korea. That movie's Devotion. coming out. Huh? Devotion. 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 I'm seeing, I'm seeing that on the probably not this definitely not this weekend, but I, I got plans uh, next weekend. That that is the real true. I mean, I've been watching everything on freaking YouTube on that film right now. They are getting giving the excellent reviews. Oh excellent. my god, that's just uh, um, I, I love the aspect. The the wingman is the guy that was uh, the third third uh, wheel there on on Top Gun <laughs> Maverick. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I gotta watch it. Everybody's giving it excellent. Yeah, that 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 right there is the real deal. That's a that's a real Top Gun story and stuff like that. That I mean, uh, when that first broke here this past summer, um, that it was going to be released, I'm looking at this. It's like, oh my god, this is going to be a great movie. Absolutely, it's just it's one that you have to see. I mean, because it's just a historical, the historical uh, aspect of the the film. Yeah, yeah. If you get a chance, Google the um. Original Top Gun graduating class. I didn't find this out until after the movie came out. The original graduating class with Tuskegee Airmen. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Really? It came up on TikTok and I was like, yeah, I don't know about this. I was like, yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see. But they said the original graduating class was Tuskegee Airmen. Those boys beat everybody. Oh, man. They were they were feared uh, in history. The Germans, uh, uh, the Germans up in the sky, when they saw a freaking... Um, would they fly the P fifty one? Tails. Yeah, they 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 saw a red tail. They said they freaking turned and went because yeah. they knew they, they were more than less. They were dead in the air and stuff like yeah. that. They were fierce and ferocious. Yes, as far yeah. as that goes. I mean, it, it just changed the whole air um, warfare air. Uh, yes. dynamics as far as when they uh, was it the Mustang? No, it was the Mustang. I think they P fifty one Mustangs. Yes. Okay. The okay. The P fifty one Mustang, which is uh, if you look at it, that was the F fifteen of its day. Did you see when you watch Maverick? You notice that's the plane he was working on in his hangar. Have you seen Maverick? Oh yeah, that's a P fifty one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He literally threw in the red tail plane because they were the graduating class. Oh, that's the connect. Oh, now let me. I I can't think of it, but was did he have a red tail on the the tail? I want to say no. I I can't think of. I'm trying to picture it and stuff like that. That's I a, say no. But he was working on that plane in the hangar, so they just. Oh, that's they, a connection. Oh wow, I like that. I, it's so cool. Wow. And a lot of this got brought to my attention. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But I was like, yeah, he's flying a P fifty one at the end of the, at the end of the movie. That's what he's flying. I never he's thought, the wall. Wow, that is. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I watch all this mess. They tell us, they're telling us everything right in front of us. <laughs> Except, well, that's why you know when I'm watching a movie because there's a lot of things and even TV shows. Uh, you you look at what's in the background and stuff, and it goes back to. And the first time I came across it was when I got older, but I can remember watching Rocky and Bullwinkle. You know, the the no, you laugh about it, but think about this. Go back and look at in the YouTube when they're doing their bit, their intro, where they're going back and stuff like that. Look at what's on the wall in the background. Okay. Uh, it's some interesting shit. Okay. I will look. <laughs> Trust me, I will look. But you know you don't think about that because you're focusing in on Rocky or they're moving around the, the squirrels. Oh, 
because a lot of Disney cartoons had some subliminal stuff in the background that I started seeing mm -hmm. that was, as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mar <laughs> Marvel, Marvel's done that too. They, you know, it is like, uh, you know, they There's were the first right there. Yes. They were the stuff. first ones to really do that. Okay. I'm going to get up and leave at the credits. And then it's like, somebody says, well, you shouldn't have left. It was something else. And so everybody's now is tuned and into the movie. Yes. After the movie. And there's a couple movies that have done that. You know, they've done it before with the bloopers or something like that. But this is just a continuation of their story and stuff like that. So it's a neat concept as far. But that thing about the P-52, that is so cool. That is, wow. They find somebody to look into it and Google it. But I started seeing that there was a real story. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. They won. I think they went to Nellison one. Mm -hmm. There was out there in Nellison one. Right, 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 right. That's something. You know, I'm just looking at. The, oh, okay, we're at an hour and sixteen minutes. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. And uh, I, I, I was focusing on just seventeen. So wait a minute, I know I've been in here. I want, and it's like I, I, I there's a the one is mixed in. I gotta get my glasses. I gotta get new fucking glasses. It's you like, got fucking track here. I'm gonna need to take your ass the hell on. I know, I know. I just uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to take your ass the hell on. I go to the VA and I take my prescription yeah, with me. They'll send it to yeah. you. You stop playing, please. Yeah, I'm still. You wouldn't believe uh, getting ready to retire. All the I get bombarded on this Medicare, Medicare, all these different. And it's like I know what I'm gonna do and stuff like that. But it's just like uh, that's the thing about Google. Google's out there. They know how old I am and stuff like that. So all these other advertisements know. So that boom, we get bombarded with the the. the the mail not that i wouldn't say really bombarded but we i think every day or every other day i get something in the mail about the mm -hmm. medicare because uh um that changes a little bit when you when you retire as a retired uh um the 20 year i think my tricare becomes how does it work yeah, we could be it, it crosses into tricare for life or something like that but i still have to get the medicare or or something i got i i you're good huh? if you retire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried. And you got the VA. You're good. You don't yeah, I don't really it. want the thing about the VA though, Tony. Unless uh, because I'm in a rural area, because we had uh, uh, there was a guy I worked with, and he was one of these retirees that came back, and um, he's he's passed away uh, two years ago. Yes. And um, but he had to have a valve change and he's from the area and they and the VA presence here on doing anything major, you usually have to go up to Syracuse or Buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh I, you know, right here I'm I'm right you know, in the triple cities area, there's three hospitals up there. Um, and then right across the border here in Sayre, Pennsylvania, the uh, Robert Packer, that's where I had my operation for my uh uh, to get my prostate out when I had the cancer and the prostate. Yeah. And that went like, that is as good as being next to a military installation with a hospital. See, the, VA, the major VA hospital is about an hour and a half from me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Now they got a whole, they got an outpatient clinic about 20 minutes away. They did put, yeah, they, that's to me, that's local. You know, yeah, if you have local. to travel a couple hours, like Buffalo is at least two and a half hours away. Syracuse is about an hour and 40 minutes and stuff. I had, I've actually had to go up there for, um, because they couldn't do it at Guthrie. Yeah. That's like, um, uh, a wisdom tooth. And as far as that goes, so you got not, Syracuse, uh, Rochester and Buffalo, do all three of them have VAs or only two of them? I know Buffalo does. And I know Syracuse, I'm not too familiar with Rochester. Rochester, yeah. Rochester's not, it, let's just say, um, it's Rochester, it, yeah, yeah, but it's a city that it, it's, it's up there in the top 10 as far as most <laughs> murders as far as that, right? I and thought I, Buffalo was the bad one. I thought Buffalo was the bad one. For no, me. Buffalo, Buffalo's nice. I, I, that's what I always thought before, uh, you know, the, the, my daughter, she went up there to get her, her master's, uh, up mm -hmm. in Buffalo. Um, when she graduated St. Bonnie's there, uh, years back and, uh, she works up there now. She works, uh, she works for, um, Brian and Stratton college. It's a, it's a business school. I know Brian and Stratton. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah Brian. She, she, she just started there this past summer. She was working at a high end salon as a, a manager and they, they, they did not want to let her go and stuff. And, and, uh, that's good. That's um, good. But she's back there working part-time because she likes the money to spend. She's absolutely. But she she she's um uh, she's working up there now and she likes it. It's right up there in the Buffalo. She likes the Buffalo area. Her her uh, her boyfriend is uh he lives down on um uh, he's he's up there too. He he um uh, he works for um 
a, he's an engineer for some company up there that does. Uh, oh, she he does. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they like it up there. Buffalo is, uh, um, from what she tells me, it's it's uh, uh, the younger generation. They they like that town. They like that town. So uh, Buffalo. From is, what I've heard, I know people who used to live up there, and especially military folks. They were like, it was hood. I said, okay. I've heard about the crime. I eh, never it's good, yeah, but you know they just roll with it. Well, any any place is going to have crime, but that recent thing where they had the shooting there that that it just like uh, that's recent. Yeah. That's well, recent. The, 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 what's scary for me and the misses is that uh, um, the, the daughter there. She she's she's actually been. I've talked to her. She's been in there, and she's you know not really on a regular basis, but she everybody in Buffalo knows where that that uh, uh, supermarket is. Of course, and, um, um, it, it just like it, I can't fathom that. It's just like uh, we've had incidents and stuff like that, but that's the one that the, the uh, it just like it's scary. It's freaking scary because the kid actually came. He 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 drove all the, where he's from. Conklin is on the other side. It's just east of Binghamton, so he drove over two hundred. He he drove for like a good three hours. This and, is what they're doing to go this far. What they're trying to push. Well, the, the, the kid, yeah. a year before, at his graduation, he had an incident, and they could have took care of something then, mm -hmm. but because they, they let it slip, and the, the kid should have been freaking tagged back then. Right. And that's the thing, the series is, after the fact, they're looking, oh, he could have, that's what they need, they, they, they need to take, I, I think all these shootings, there's people that, are, they want to take it serious, but they're almost like oh we're not we don't have to worry about that this kid is definitely mentally deranged definitely mentally deranged i, I guess the latest is uh he's up there and he's trying to work at where uh, um what the hell they want to take the because it's federal it's a federal crime that he's he's being tried for so yeah. he can get the death penalty we I, broadcast on gun laws yeah when you do certain violations with a gun you're on a federal level <clears throat> Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Um, I read that. I saw that yeah. concrete. I know why they're not getting rid of guns. I know why they're not changing yeah. gun laws. And I see why you're getting prosecuted. I'm like, you almost screwed. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Even right. though right. Right. But this Just kid right now is, um, the, I, I heard it on the radio news yesterday at the day job. And um, I guess he's trying to finagle. He'll plead guilty if he just gets a life sentence because they want to, they want to, and it's, it, I don't know. I, I have a dilemma with that as far as because it's just like I, I'm I'm a strong believer in eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But uh, um, it, it's just like uh, you know, if they if they it just seems like if they go that quick and they answer that, that means that on the federal level they just want to sweep it away and just throw them in the can and let them rot. That's what they but want to do. I'm, I'm just wondering if right. that's going to give any type of closure. To the families yeah. that lost loved ones, because yeah. I know if I lost a loved one, I'd, I'd want the freaking bastard killed. I'd want to do it. <laughs> I'm right with you there, buddy. Right. I, I have no, I know I have no bones in saying that. If, if it's something, you know, and and that's the dilemma with this. That uh, um, you know, it, it just uh, um, there's certain bad people that you know. It just uh, I it just I can't fathom having exactly. you know i'd want to do it everybody you can't say that well they can kill they can disrespect i can say it yeah but new york state uh the state itself has a, um there's um they since stopped using the death penalty and stuff like that. It's one of the states yeah that most states don't do it it's considered inhumane yeah. i agree yeah it's considered yeah. inhumane so but then again you look back at uh, the incident uh how how humane was that that was that was beyond inhumane is you know beyond it just it just boggles my mind as far as saying because it's it's it because the buffalo's two and a half hours but it just seems like it's for new york state that is so especially upstate it's so freaking it hits you right in the face yeah. as far as that goes well, buffalo the biggest thing upstate next to syracuse rochester you got binghamton yeah. you got ithaca yeah. said elmira um, uh, yeah, Bing Binghamton's about half the size of Buffalo, as far yeah. as that goes. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a city, but it's, it's like right up above, 
um, because you got Binghamton University right there. That's a big time university there that uh, um, that really. And actually, Binghamton University isn't even in Binghamton. It's in Vestal, but they call it Binghamton. Yeah, it's in Vestal. Right, it's right, good, right. It's a good campus, too. It's a real good campus as far as that goes for the SUNY system. Love it. And stuff like that. So, Love it. But, yeah. So I don't know if we're going to get – we're not going to get to get any more people up here, but uh, it's going to be their loss. I think I I think I took a screenshot. Let me see. Go for it, came. No, I already. I, I think I already had. I, I got it in the buffer. I, I wanted to bring up here just to see what because it was right at the beginning, and I think you're laughing your ass off. That's why I took it. <laughs> Let me see if it's view. Oh God! I'm gonna get you, Rich. Don't worry. I'm gonna get your ass. No, you forgot. You all want me too? No, it's funnier than shit. I'm, let me see if I can send you this. Let me. Send, I'll send you. Oh yeah, you know what? I can send you. I can send you a copy direct mail or direct message there. Let me let me show you. Let me let me do it. I'll just get the picture of you and me side by side here, and you know and I, I like to throw some of our stuff up on my YouTube channel too, as long as it's good. Uh, but you know, you, you know when uh, you take the picture and you're in motion. Yes, you're in motion. Let me let me send this to you. Hang on for a minute. Let me send this to you. Where's my Twitter here? Uh, I'm safer to send this direct message because I want. To- uh, let's see. What, let me bring up my Twitter feed higher on my main box. Um, if not, I want to get a, I want to get a, a, a screenshot of both of us. Sure. And stuff like that, so I can post it up, and then I'll tag Michael and all those guys there and say, "Hey, see what you missed." Exactly. <laughs> let's see. Go this on your YouTube page. Um, I I. Y- y- I would have to download it. I, I, vocal gets vocal saves the recordings. You yeah, they the, save it, but you have to download. Can you export to? Can you export it? Because the last time I did, you had to. Let me see. I think let you have see. to download it first. Let me see what I got. Unless they change, you know, it, it could. Let's see. Oh, Ted liked the link, so he he just he liked the link, so he's he he sees the link. Mm-hmm. So he's probably out and about doing something. Okay, let's see. Does that come? Oh, it comes up. Oh, okay. Here it is. It, I just I just DM'd it to you. Okay, I'm waiting on the pop up now. See, I'm I, I'm I'm respectful to where I'm not going to put this up unless you tell me. But I think you'll get a laugh out of it. Gotcha. You can let me see if you can export this. No, you do have to download it. You're you're right. You do have to download it. Oh, you have to download the. Uh, okay, yeah. I might do that because I, I'm not going to be doing anything else uh, today. So I usually, uh, but I do rebroadcast. I, I usually post up a picture along with the link to uh, the vocal. And yes. Stuff. Oh, Ted Hicks is here. He popped up. See. Let me Ted let me bring him up. Oh wow! You didn't give me with that face, did you? Oh my god! <laughs> we have Ted Hicks in the house. What's going on, man? What's going on? Gonna go get that uh, inspection done. Oh, the emissions check. Yeah, yeah, it's that time. Yeah, we've been up here an hour and a half. What are you, you guys know, doing? Right? How long have you guys been up here? We've been up here an hour and a half. You know that, right? Hey Tony, your, your 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 screenshot uh, just got replaced by the three of us right here. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I think I, I I'm a little leery about putting that one up, but I wanted to see the. Hey, I look a little crazy on that one. Say that. Say that for when we we'll get back on Haps. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but Ted, thank you for come, popping up here. Uh, as far as that goes, I I take it you have two hands on the wheel. Oh, we might have lost him. Yeah, he's out and about. He's got two yeah. hands on the wheel. Trust me. The only yeah. reason you're losing because he's focused on everything else. Ted be busy, yeah. man. Yeah, this is in the city, probably. <laughs> Ted be busy, dog. He be busy. He be out and about. I tell people you got to catch him. Him and Bathurst are two of the hardest people to catch up with. But I appreciate you coming up, Ted. All right, I'll be with you guys tomorrow for Belt Kings. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna aim for ten o'clock. 
It's probably okay. going to look, look between 10 and 11. Eight for 10? 10 yeah, or 11, look, okay. Look between 10 and 11. Okay. Just in case right. the more people we, we might run I'll talk to you guys out. later. All, All right. right man, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, let's see how this one Man, it was up. good to see him when I was up there. He was happier to see me than I was to see him. <laughs> yep, I got I got the three of us, so that, that's gonna go up. Uh Running. because the more the merrier, because I, my 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 frame of thinking is Bathurst will see this. They say, Man, I should have got on there. I, I was gonna do a Twitter spaces and try and egg him on and see yeah, if that hang was... out from hang out from what's it? Yeah, you need to... No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna you do a Twitter spaces to see if that was gonna bring him in one morning. Because a bunch of us are on Twitter and see if that would have pulled him in, he would have lost it. Dude, what are you doing? He was like, you know, I just, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, I'm on that ass. Yeah, yeah, that ass. You got me over here, and then you disappear. Yeah, well, but it's still staying in contact. Like I said, I, uh, all the people I had, um, I followed over there on TikTok, they're all HAPS people and stuff. So I got, I think for the most part, I follow all those, all those individuals over there on, uh, on Twitter anyway. So, uh, and, uh, as far as that goes, and, uh, I mean, um, uh, th- though I'm seeing a lot of Elon Musk in my feed now, I'm following Elon, but he's put, he's putting up a lot. Of, well, it's, you know, he's putting up some interesting I'm shit. I'm not mad at him at all. It's just, no, no, they, they, they're I, doing a lot of overkill with the coverage of what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't, I think it's, <sighs> He's doing it weekly. He's had the second dump, and I think it's just clearing a lot of air and stuff like yeah. that, which makes me, you know, and and that's one of those things. Uh, uh, what was it yesterday? Uh, has anything really changed since he took over, other than he's opened up the doors? But then you get someone like Elton John saying, "Oh, I'm gonna leave." All of a sudden, it's turned bad because Elon, and that that's what I can't stomach. It's just like uh, we're seeing it now from the two two releases there that he's that he's done the twitter files or whatever they call them mm-hmm. uh, that uh even um the previous ceo did not know what was going on it was people underneath him that were doing all the freaking crap that uh you know it's, it's like wait a minute. that's every job that is every job oh yeah 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 I, oh no doubt yeah yeah no doubt and stuff like that so i think it's just that even it's the playing field to to a certain degree but people don't really care for it because i think it's it's calling out some people that they may have associated with and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, you look at the guy that got killed down in Rikers Island that had a lot of probably dirt on a lot of people there. That's, you know, because this is that I can't think of the guy, uh, Bernie, was it Bernie something? Was it Bernie Madoff? No, not Madoff was the Ponzi scheme, right? Who was the guy that had the dirt on everybody that his, his girlfriend is being prosecuted now. I can't think of that. Epstein, yeah, you know, there's just Epstein. He, you know, that's still uh, there's some still question marks on that as far as that goes, and there's probably a lot of people that are, were breathing inside. Really, and I think and maybe that's what's not that. Dead. He's not dead. Oh, you don't think he's dead? You think that was all? Oh, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Him, that's- David Koresh, they're not dead. Oh, okay, okay. That yeah, that's, that's, you know, you saying that I almost want to say, yeah, I, that I don't even consider that a conspiracy. That that's some, that's interesting. You see why it would make sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're talking some big dogs on the information he knows. Absolutely. And the yeah, story has been out forever. Then that day. Yeah, but even if that's speculation and stuff like that, so it's just. Uh, <laughs> as far as that goes so uh but uh i don't know i i i feel a little more comfortable being on twitter and stuff than uh but the, there's there's some there's definitely some people i i guess like i said the latest one elton john said he's not going to go anymore and then uh i think elon came back with them because he's high up there um elton john he's been around for a minute oh uh, i don't think he has an allegiance to anybody but no i know he probably has some inside information I'll give Elon one strike when you made the teleworkers come back to work. Yeah. Everybody to telework as long as they wanted to. His biggest strike is he demanded everybody come back to work. It may have been an accountability issue. It may have been a temporary thing. Yeah, but the thing is, Tony, uh, Facebook and uh, all these other platforms are doing this. Well, the layoff, I I couldn't stomach the layoff because I I, I don't like seeing anybody get laid off, but uh, but it just – 
But then again, he owns the business, and I guess he wants to keep it viable. But yes. see, right after he did the layoff, and I think it was giving those people an opportunity, but you got people, you got, um, like I said, Facebook, they're laying off. You got Amazon laying off. Yes. Um, but then again, the, the thing that doesn't make sense, Amazon's laying off. I'm seeing other parts of the country. Amazon here in New York State is skyrocketing. You see these blue trucks, Amazon Prime, everywhere. And I, it's like, what's going on? Um, even the big tractor trailers on 86, I'm seeing like at least four or five of them a day here. I have delays with my Amazon Prime for the past two months. Really? Yes. Wow. I've ordered stuff that I still have not received. I yeah. have one I had to cancel. Because I oh, never really? Yes. Yeah. So it, it's just, it's it, it's one of those things that, okay, they really, I, I think it was just because Twitter is a tool that was taken away from a certain segment. All right, you got a phone call? No, that's yeah. not me. That's not me. Oh. oh, hang on. That's me. Let me see what that is. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Nobody talks about my dirty kitchen, damn it. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right, no problem. You should see it. Well, no, everything's pretty organized. Um, that was just our local Walmart there for prescriptions and stuff. So yes, and stuff. So that's all good. But uh, what are you having breakfast? Um, heating up a steak. I'm thinking about running the um. I need to run something from Mixcloud. I haven't done it in over a month. Oh, okay. No, how do you like that platform? I'm good with it. Helen, Helen suggested it for the music that I was doing. Uh -huh. JG was big on me doing a 4K downloader. And everybody's ideas was coming so much. And I was like, I got to wait till I got it up here. Right, so right. I had it right here and I tried it. I said, okay, cool. But I still don't have the followers, which is crazy. I'm, all, I'm doing all these platforms. I'm following everybody. I'm supporting everybody. It's not being reciprocated, or at least it doesn't feel that way. With everything that we're doing and all the hours that we're putting in, this is one thing Ted was telling me. You don't have a thousand subscribers? I said, no. Not on YouTube? I said, no. I throw the link out there, and that's why I did TikTok to throw it on all platforms to see who will follow. They'll follow you on TikTok. Yeah, but are you promoting it on TikTok to where you see the the, the overflow yeah. from TikTok over? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I thought, you know, the bots will come from Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Right. Even on Facebook. But when you go live, that's why I'm going to try and do something now, see if it'll pop up. Because I'm actually going to run a broadcast. Because a lot of times I do a Twitch and people are busy. I got that. People got real lives. I'm, I got that. Here's the kicker. Yeah. People don't have their notifications on. They don't know. Everybody's oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Who yeah. are you going to stream? I've never seen you anywhere. So you don't have yeah. your notifications on. I yeah. put shit in the yeah. I put shit everywhere. Y'all ain't watching. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got, I, I got my notifications on everybody from HAPS and stuff like that that are on here. So you pop up uh, um, as far as that goes. And then, uh, you know, uh, then I'm looking at the clock. Uh, usually when I wake up in the morning, I get a notification from Randy, but because of the time difference and stuff like that. Yes. But we don't, you know, other than you and who else? I don't really, and Randy, I don't see anybody else broadcasting, you know? Yes. You know, that's what. No, they're, they're just they're, the 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 uh, the excitement like Haps. You know, we wanted to get on Haps, and uh, Haps to me was similar to Blab in the sense that, well, okay, I get, I know there's going to be some people on there, and when certain people popped on, you know, there was a regular evening thing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you know, and I think 
vocal though there's a few more steps to to bring up the broadcast where haps is just boom you hit the the button and you're on there and stuff yeah, and that's why it's really better than vocal vocal's got to catch up to those two in my opinion vocal has yeah. to catch up to those two. but he, he, you got to you got to admit, though, even restream and stuff, there's a few more steps involved in that to where where perhaps you just hit the button and you're live. Yes, because it was already automatically connected and no right, cost. right, right, and no uh, and I think that's the that's the barrier that people don't want to really uh, use programs such as Vocal. Yes, even though I think Vocal is a great platform because we just proved it with three people up here and stuff like that. That you know, and it has that haps. And to me, it has the, it is even going further beyond be, before Haps is the blab type uh, atmosphere, as mm -hmm. far as that goes. And but you could still do that, with, like what you said with Restream, with Restream, um, uh, you know, Restream as as goes to two platforms automatically for free, right? Paid for the others because I was going to do the football thing on a weekly basis, right? Um, yeah. The push for me to get affiliate on Twitch is what I'm working on now. If I can get yeah. affiliate, but you got to be you got to be on a regular schedule. You're right. on a regular schedule. Rick Koss is on a regular schedule. Randy Horton's on a regular schedule. Well, the the Twitch too, Tony. Well, yeah, you got because you, you got to. I think the first hurdle. Now, when I was became a fill, it was a hundred. But I think I heard Randy say that's been lowered to fifty now. Fifth? No, it's a hundred. It's still it's 100. still hundred. Okay, so he was, and then I think there's a couple other things you got to have so many people. I think once you get a hundred, you become a fill. But I thought you were you were an affiliate on uh, Twitch. Nope. You're not? No. Let me go to the Twitch channel here. Yeah. No, I'm not. You can look. Take your time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just because uh, I thought uh, I thought Chris was going to help you with that. I never hit him up. I don't blame Chris. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hit him up, but I think it was just the fact that I, I, was, I was starting to get on a regular thing mm -hmm. that uh, there's a stretch that all of a sudden I had all these freaking people. Come, and I was like, that doesn't look normal. But, well, you know, we was trying to be there. We were yeah. trying to be there because, like I said, you was like my morning. I would be at work in overtime, and I would just turn you on. Yeah, I yeah. I, I appreciate. I appreciate that as far as I that got goes. You, man. I got you. And uh, but the thing is, for me, you know, I we, you know, you're you're in, and then uh, you got Chris Technician, Tina, and the rest of the gang, Jeeves, oh, um, and and stuff like that. And you know, I that's that that's what makes the show. But I think. Um, you know, I don't get a lot of replays. I think I average anywhere from 20 to 30. If that, right. to me, that's freaking great. I mean, I'm just ecstatic just having people to chat with in the morning. That's the, that's the thing. That's, that's the nugget that I really emphasis. appreciate. That's been my very huge emphasis, the fact yeah. that people will be there when you're going live. We can all talk and watch to see who's going yeah. to watch the replay. Yeah, and, so. if they're, and if they're not, I'm not going to lose any sleep over. But, you know, the, when there are people in there, that that's as a broadcaster over the years, um, um, I, I've grown to really, really appreciate that, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, it's really good and stuff like that. Like the other night, I uh, well, right now, the game I play, Lord of the Rings, I did a, a Lord of the Rings. They got the Christmas festival, Yule festival going on. So I'm in there. There wasn't one one person in that whole broadcast. I was on for an hour. But I'm talking. I know. But. I've got like 20 replays on it. You'll get replays on um, Crudo. So, you know, he plays but, his game. I'm not jump in and say, what's yeah, going in. Yeah, yeah. but, uh, you know, the replay, they're not watching. I know they're not watching the whole thing, but they're watching a couple minutes of it. So that, to me, that's freaking great. I like that. So I don't have enough online viewers. And that's why I'm going to run one this morning just to see yeah. if I can change real quick. I don't have enough online viewers. I don't do enough hours in a 30 day span. Right, which right. Was a big emphasis. So, like I said, I'm going to try and start doing it. When I get back to days, I'm going to try and do what I did on HAPS. I'm going to try and run it for about two months. Cause, and I was telling people, I said, you know, we was all up there. Right. And people would come in on everything. I see you, Ted. People would come in on everything. And hell was breaking it down. They came in on HAPS. They didn't come in on Twitch. I said, you're correct. They didn't always come in on YouTube. They came in through HAPS. So the biggest thing is to have people coming in through Twitch. Now, all of us are connected on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Right. Some may not be on YouTube. I throw my YouTube link out there more than anything. Still can't get a lot of followers, so I just stop worrying about it. But I'm going to try and run a couple of daytime things. Well, what What about you're on the airtime? You're not getting any flow over from the airtime from those people over there? Jeeves. Uh, really? Jeeves and Helen. And, and Helen was there one time. I did a broadcast, and I throw the links in my airtime room on purpose, and I'll ping the whole room. Stevie right. Wonder shows up. Bigger to Stevie Wonder more than anything. Stevie Wonder right. will show up. 
Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Debbie will show up. Sadie used to show up. Right. That would always be it from Twitch. Really? Wow. I'm going to run the daytime one to see if any of the old hats folks pop in. Yeah, yeah. To see if they still got the notifications off because – even with the replays, I'll see a couple people from the replays for the football thing, which has been right. good for me because that was an idea. Everybody said, just do something on the weekly. I can't right. wait to the football thing. When football season is over, I got to think of something else. Current right. events are being done. I never saw any of us doing fantasy football for real. And the way I'm doing it worked out excellent that one morning when there were six of us on the screen. I lost it. Y'all made my whole season with that one broadcast. Right. <laughs> Y'all made the whole season right there. I think Ted was talking about the the broadcast I did Wednesday night there on the uh, was that Wednesday night? Yeah, I think I did yeah. That you one. do the um, picks, yeah, the Lord Lord of the Rings here. Oh, you yeah. did Lord of the Rings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you, sir. Um, but I'm I'm trying to do that a little bit more. But I I got an idea for Friday nights. I don't want to spill the beans and stuff like that. But it involves playing a game mm-hmm. and seeing that you're going to be working. Uh, I got it down the night after this will the night. Be my last. Last week on swings, then I'll go back to days. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's something I'm going to probably see if I can do on a Friday Friday night mm-hmm. um, as far as going into the weekend and stuff. But you know how – who was the who's the gal that had the uh, Uno game on, on Habs? Takara. Who? Takara. Oh, Takara, okay. <laughs> I used to love to watch so – even on the replays, I love watching she, it because you just feel the, the fun. She's on the and, culture. I'm on yeah. there now. Uh huh. You can actually make money over there. Where is she at now? It's an app called Pococha. P O C O C H. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, she sent that to me about three months ago. I went on there. I went up there, supported her. Then I said, "Bump it. I'm gonna try." I was supporting people. They were like, "Do you live stream?" I said, "No." Do you do? I said, "No." I'm just up here. So then I started live streaming. They're backing uh-huh. me up now. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit more time before I start telling. I told Ted and them about it. I sent it. I put it in my room. That's the right. thing. My room right. in airtime is all of us who left haps. Right. I will throw a link in there while I'm live or even throw it up afterwards. Barely any fair play. Now, there's, there's only so much I can do after six months. Right. The door's still going to be open, of course. But that's why mm-hmm. when James Garland hit me up, I'm going to jump on that opportunity. You didn't research yeah. Evmux. What's the skinny on it? Evmux, Ted, from what I've seen, they're trying to go against StreamYard. They only go to Facebook and YouTube. When you get a chance, go home and look at it because you're the big tech yeah, guy. I, Ted, I've looked at it and it looks very interesting. It looks similar to it looks. So it's just a matter of running it, see how it, yeah. it works as far as that goes, and if it's it, what I'm seeing, I think it's a pretty good uh, option to put in the tool tool the broadcasting tool chest there to uh, go to That's if you have point. to. Hey Tony, That's I'm okay. just looking at your your. I'm I'm surprised you're not a freaking uh, affiliate. Affiliate because I'm seeing Tony Tone 72. You have 107 followers. Yeah, but I don't have enough people in the live stream. How many? You oh, that's one of the hoops. People. Oh, okay. They have okay. people every broadcast, and that's what's on the That's this where Chris can help you, though. Chris, is, to- listen, Chris pops up, G's pops up, Erica pops up, Helen pops up, Debbie pops up. Um, Tony, Tony. Yes. Chris Technician has. He has a little help that he can do to jack up those numbers. Okay, okay. <laughs> just... I'm try- Listen, I always try to go legit before I start. You know, uh, you know I, I didn't know what was going on until I figured. I was like, well, wait a minute. It's uh, Chris. He do it. He's, he would just say say with a smile, no. And it's like, okay, wink, wink. And it's like, so I'm just saying, I was I was on a regular basis. So if you're on a regular basis, he might be I'm able not- to. If I get on back on a regular yeah. basis. Well, you're, you're working the work right now and stuff yeah. like that. I'm not on a regular basis yet. And that's going for me, it's going to take a mentality. I don't have the comfortability I have with Haps yeah. to broadcast. Yeah. Took a yeah. Minute. Yeah. Even when I would do the music streams, I threw it on StreamYard to Twitter. Yeah. Every time I did a music stream, I threw it on StreamYard to Twitter. I would throw it everywhere. Mm-hmm. People would show up for real. Right. Well, like, you, you, had a, you had a routine. You had a routine going on too, so that's the other thing. Is, at eight o'clock at and, night, yes. and Haps is on, so that routine got thrown off. You know, just went poof, went yes. away. Yes, and, th- and that's like me with Twitch. I if I didn't, you know, I, I I'm in the routine where I do the Monday to, I could do five days a week, but I, I want to throw the audio in, and I'm I'm off the audio for a little bit because of the 
the monthly challenge I did. But Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, I look forward to to coming on. And I know I have a specific month. So there's a is a um, a, a routine there. Now, when I get home, I, when I'm at the day job. I'm saying, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. And I get home and I'm like, I have a beer and I'm sitting there. It's like, I don't want to freaking do nothing. You except sit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just want to sit back there and veg. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then when, like, well, Ted, he has the late night uh, parroting and you're on there uh, with some other individuals and stuff. I'll watch that on the replay on my coffee break and stuff like that. But um, the stand, unless you get into a routine, and I guess once football's over with, um, you know, I'm not going to be doing. I'll do the Wednesday. That that's only a 30 minute bit, but that it takes me a little. I gotta almost self motivate myself because it's I'm not used to that evening broadcasting anymore. Like I was on apps, you know, yeah. somebody on apps. Oh God, who, what are they saying? You know, you always want to get in, see what's going on with the. We never knew what we were going to see when somebody came on with apps. Now that we got a routine, we know what we're going yeah. to expect. Yeah, yeah. I know so. five thirty. I can get prepared and watch, listen to the double. Yeah. Well, that yeah. that yeah. I can't get prepared for work and listen. Yeah, which is it's understandable, Ted. Is this like, but uh, um, that's why I guess I'm looking at okay, once football's done, what can I do, say on a Friday because I can stay up late Friday because I can sleep in Saturday. Okay, I, I, could, I could run two months every day. Yeah, start in January, but yeah. actually, what I'm gonna do is let the football season finish out. Then I'm gonna do my little two month run and everything else. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you think Evmux is good. I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of jumping on StreamYard, I'll jump on with them. Well, my two months is up with this. Right. I'll jump on with them and try it out. Right. Um, StreamYard is always going to be there. Yeah. Restream, Restream hasn't done me wrong except for yeah. it's not connecting to Twitter. Yeah. Um, Vocal hasn't been wrong. I do want to give this platform a chance. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to say, let's see. And Rich, thanks for having an uplift. Yes uplifting stream always oh yeah i try you know that it, it, it's more you know I, I say this i i appreciate the people that pop in on the chat and stuff like that it's freaking great um my whole premise though and i always have to keep that in the back of my head is that it's for me to get motivated and stuff like that because i love this thing called the internet and uh there's some good aspects on it and i've met some great people I don't want to stay, you know, from Haps and stuff, and even from Blab, going, you know, Jeeves and uh, Nazim, uh, and that means a lot, and I don't want to lose that. So, you know, whatever little bit can do to hang on, um, but I appreciate that, uh, Ted, and you guys make the show too, you know, when you're popping in and stuff, and you know, I, I got to give credit to the missus; she's really upped my uh, my game here as far as incorporating her in the background and stuff, and the and everybody. Um, but I have to tell, say one thing right now, Tony. I'm looking, and and and, and I, I'm I'm not going to hit haps anymore because it's got to be on my side on the camera because I'm, I'm again I'm using uh, when you see the little blab guy I'm using the uh, OBS. OBS. I am pixelated, but I know the audio is good. Tony, you are looking freaking great. I know. <laughs> so it's just straight camera, straight camera. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a camera, and then it, it, I, I I and. Chris technicians always say, "Oh, you're you're it's your box, and so it's not my box. There's other variables, and I I gotta I always put out there. I live in a rural area, and people that live in a rural area, I've seen over the years when they try and broadcast, um, you know, unless they have a strong now. If I was to just do this broadcast, say on my phone, there would be less variables involved in that, you know, as far as uh, that goes. So, uh, um, but this is a good." Uh, stress tests and stuff like that uh, as far as that goes and ted's still with us on the chat which is great yes um and i you know and i want to do everything i can to to promote vocal even though with i'm not too hip about their price but they got to do what they got to do the price know? is bad the price is yeah. not far, uh, not far uh, off than the others and it's yeah. new so it should be a lot of dollar yeah. more which i can live with a dollar a month I can right live with right right yeah, but well, there's still I gotta get used to working the platform. I gotta get used to working the platform more than anything. Right. I literally spent 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And Bobby was actually happy. He said, You really doing it? I said, Yeah, I'm gonna figure this thing out. Yeah. Like when we're talking about the thing about George Air Force Base, that's I think that's the first time I ever screen share. Screen share as far as from another uh mm -hmm. uh, few, uh person up in the in the in the box here as far mm -hmm. as that goes. And that worked real, real good. It's just more, okay, you're going to move the tiles down below as far as what the uh, thing, like if I move it now, let me see. I'll move you over in the right position, right? 
Yeah, you got to work it. Oh, there you we go. go. <laughs> yeah. All you got to do is work it. Absolutely. And, and with what this platform has to offer, I, I, I'm really surprised other people. You know, I, I've had you and Ted up here the majority of the time. Uh, along, I mean, Ted, before you came on, we were talking about my big oops there when we I first started using it. You couldn't hear, you could hear me, but I couldn't hear you because I didn't have my freaking volume turned up on my my soundboard and stuff. I still laugh about that. I said, "What a freaking yeah, me, me, yeah, that yeah, the bonehead." <laughs> Oh man, I, I I mean I couldn't believe that when I finally figured that. Wait a minute, that volume's turned down. What the frick? <laughs> so it's all good. It's that Walt. Uh, let's see, it's not free anymore. It was. I was wondering how they CD financed it. How they could finance it? Oh, how they could finance it? It's still free. They got a pricing plan. Yeah, they, they're they're moving to that. It's still beta, uh, Ted, and uh, there is a pricing plan. When you go to the main vocal up in the uh, – it'd be over here next to the vocal. It'll say pricing or something like that, I think it says. Let me check it here real quick. It's on the left-hand side of the – well, the left-hand screen. It would be up over here next to the vocal uh, thing. It's uh, It has the prices. Let me drive to it here real quick. Yeah, it'd be off to the, right next to you have vocal, you have the vocal sign here, and then over here will be discovery. That's all the previous broadcasts, and you'll have pricing. And then the pricing, uh, um, you know, they got five hours. This is the thing I don't understand under the free category, you get five hours recording and five hours live streaming. Well, what if I do, do five hours of live streaming? I guess I can't do the five hours of, you know, you when you do five hours. You can only record five hours of the live streaming that you do. Yeah, but they say five more hours of recording, though, too. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying there. Yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, I, I don't think they've instituted that yet because on the very last one, it says logo or no, vocal watermark. And I don't see any vocal watermark. The vocal as as watermark, me. you probably didn't set yours up yet. And for me to you, if you can multi stream to YouTube, you don't have to worry about recording. Oh yeah, yeah, but see, I I got time. I like playing around with it, and then it just put. As far as um, when I do it over on YouTube, I like to have something down in the uh, the video comments or the show notes. Yeah, and those shows. Yeah, it all shows up because I leave yeah. all those windows open. Yeah. When I multi-stream, I leave those windows open on purpose because yeah, Facebook wasn't kicking in or Haps at one point. Right. When I did my restream, the Facebook comments weren't coming through. Right. Even though I had everything linked. So I'm just wondering how much of a it might be a connection issue to that as far as that goes mm -hmm. and stuff. But because uh, I know what you're still uh, when you broadcast with a restream, you, you're still having problems with uh, with Twitter. The Twitter Twitter Live and stuff. Where I'll I, I guess I'm just a one dimensional where I I'll I'll put this and I like repurposing it after the fact. Right. And stuff like that. And uh, because I'm putting emphasis on this broadcast and stuff, not really worrying about the other platforms and stuff. It, uh, if the people want to watch me, they'll go to the, the, you know, that's why I'm always pushing my Twitter stream. You want to know what I'm doing? Go to my Twitter stream and stuff like that. You know, that's my main thing. Here's my thing. Every platform we can monetize on, I want them linked. When we go live, they kick on. Yeah, yeah. Over. And I guess that, that's one of the things I really emphasize. I, I, I'm not in it for the money, but I guess since I've been on Twitter the last year, I've made a hundred bucks and that's, uh, I'm still waiting for the check from PAMPS that they what? And I, can't, I I haven't got anything. There's 86 bucks sitting there. I think it's 86. Yeah, or, people's. But it's it's no big deal. It, it's just I had fun. It, it's just like uh, I, I I guess I I was one that was chasing the coins and stuff like that too. As far as making and I love that about halves because it was like a challenge, an on stream challenge to go ahead and broadcast to make sure you got your. Um, but the money, I, I it's it's not all about it's not about the money. It was never about the money. No, no, but it's it's a nice little thing. It's like okay, I'll throw it in if I want to get something from Amazon. I got some online freaking funding and stuff like that. So that's the one good thing about Twitch. Once you become an affiliate, you, you you get a little change. And I found that right out of the gate. Once I became an affiliate, um, and I had the, you know just the advertisement. So I, I'm I'm really surprised why Haps wouldn't want to go that route. The advertisement, because you know, as much as a bitch, you know, I, I hear on Randy's page, oh, you gotta, you gotta watch all these these commercials. Subscribe. 
I don't mind watching the commercials because I know if I'm watching it, you're getting a couple pennies from it and stuff like that. So I don't mind that. You got pop ups on yours when you come in. Oh, on yeah, on the uh, because of the affiliation and stuff like that. So uh, you know, we gotta get you a partner. You've been up there long enough. No, I don't. No, I don't want to go that. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear that shit. We gotta get you the partner. (laughs) No, let me make that perfectly clear. I do not want to go partner. I'm not. That's (laughs) that's. I'm happy right where I'm at there, dude. I, you know, and, and, and I appreciate that. It's just like, uh, uh, because I'm having fun. It's just, it, this is a fun thing for me to do. And, um, and it, it me, just, uh, when I retire, we can do this so easily on a regular. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah. 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 I plan on, you know, and, uh, as far as that goes and, uh, you know, like I said, I have an idea. I'm not going to spill the ball because once I do it and you see it, we're going to be doing this every Friday night because it's, uh-huh. it, it, it's not a game aspect. Okay. Uh-huh. It's a game aspect. And, uh, um, it, I think there is a possibility, but it, it just entails another person or two okay. people or three people and stuff like that. But that's down the line. I, you know, I got it on the, the drawing board here on the, the, the post-its and stuff like that. As far as uh, that goes. Let me know. Let me no, know. not Let me karaoke. Know. No, no. You can't, <laughs> you can't do No. I'll participate in a karaoke like I have and I have. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be doing karaoke. That's a um, good one. This should be game. Now, normally I work Saturday mornings and I got to be there at 5. So, I always try to schedule everything for 8 o'clock. Every night well, that, that's what it, it's going to be an evening. It'll be like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and I'll, I'll you know, I'm, and, and if I'm going to do this, I'm making it a, a point that I'll commit myself to going to like nine o'clock for a couple hours and stuff like that. Grumpy old man show, fifty years older. <laughs> I'm not grumpy. Well, I can get grumpy. It's, it's a Mrs. Right. Here. <laughs> She's right next door. She she said she you didn't see this, but she comes in. Is it, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. She's on her laptop. She's she's doing some stuff, some 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 work there, um, as far as that goes. But uh, yeah, yeah she's I guess- come on. It's been a year and a half. She's welcome to get up here with us anytime. Yeah. Oh, Ted says I can get grumpy. <laughs> I've, never I've never seen. I've never seen. Huh? Yeah, we all can. that's right. But we I've don't. never seen that. <laughs> no, I've I've seen I've seen your I've seen you come close on halves. I've seen, but I've never seen halves or uh, Ted is always. Hey, Mrs. Roberts. Hello Hi. from Long Island. Hello. <laughs> I've uh, never seen Ted lose his cool. Never. Oh no, Ted's 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 a straight arrow there and stuff like that. As, as far as that goes, so it's just uh, it's uh, pretty cool and stuff. But uh, but I have that in the plans, and I don't know what what other than you because Twitch. I'm very very because uh, as far as popping music on Twitch, unless it like yeah you know, because. Um, um, not that I got, I got warned once, and that was something that was actually, it was uh, intro music for Lord of the Rings, but it was the actual soundtrack that was for the game, mm-hmm. but because it came off of YouTube, uh, they said, hey, you might not want to use this. Okay, I won't. It did call, it did call me a ding. I got a warning, and I right. stopped using it, because I guess they can distinguish, if you're using the game and you're using the in-game sound, which that's what I use for, the, for that particular broadcast. Um, I stopped using Twitch because they were, they flagged me a couple of times on the replays. They used to oh, have, and, yeah, and I, I, I had was go ahead and do it, save it on Miss Cloud. Right, the replay will be there. You send the link or you leave the link on the bottom for chat. That yeah. way you can have it sent out to everybody, and they'll also follow. So that's gonna be my new yeah. idea. Yeah, and then because uh, I I have seen now I haven't seen lately on uh, Jeeves's replay, unless he's done something, I don't see the the blocks blotted out. Because he's got a license to do it. He's got a license oh, to do it. okay. He has a license now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. Ted, oh, yeah, I, maybe that's it. I, mean, I received a strike on YouTube for letting Helga freestyle on my broadcast, and she started talking. Of, oh, the COVID thing. Yeah, yeah. That's. I saw uh, – this is something uh, – I, I can't think of who it was, but they addressed it to – oh, it was the uh, Hodges brothers. I don't know if you know them. The Hodges yeah, I brothers. Those, I know those jokers. They are, they are entertaining though. Okay. There are, but I, I think uh, they're on Twitter there. They were saying to, they were addressing to Elon. Is it all right to talk about COVID again? <laughs> he don't care. It's the people above him. Well, well, the people that the previous uh, 
people that uh, were on there that uh, he told them to take a hike, I guess, and stuff. Yes, like that. So, yes, they are amusing. Yeah, I, <laughs> they, they're, I, they were. I think they were here. They were over in Buffalo here recently. So it's just like uh, they're, they're. I I look. I don't follow them as much and stuff like that because they're they're just. Uh, I don't know some of the stuff is like okay yeah I know that you can make fun of you know you make so much fun and stuff like that it gets okay I I know they're on Instagram a lot but I've seen them more and more on Twitter now since the 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 the, the Elon shift there have taken over there was also on YouTube a lot and people were jumping all over it yeah I they think really were and yeah. I, I was like yeah all right and, and they're over on Rumble too Rumble um you know yeah. uh, they're not gonna let's see I unfollowed them on Twitter you did. I still, I, I think I still, I because I saw that tweet unless somebody retweeted it because I did see them. I think I don't. I don't Rumble. Know, my uh, wife used to watch them. She used to laugh at them because they was funny. And I was yeah. like, yeah, they all right, but now they got all political. But they got a following. I can't, I can't say nothing. They got a. Oh, well, you know, the the thing, the thing is, just like some of the people, I I don't really agree with it. There's some stuff that they say is like, you know what? They but they they sometimes they go over after some crap that it's like uh, Brian shares their content all the time with us. Oh, all okay. the, all the yeah. fuck it's. Hey, I, Brian, Brian, I, I can, you know, I'm, I'm, there's you would, a lot. You have a great chat with Brian. Rich, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know Brian's, uh, you know, persuasion there and stuff like that and stuff like, but, but the, the thing is that if they speak something and that, you know, they're not, I know sometimes it's just like, uh, if you, you you could do, say something and be productive, but when you start saying stuff and it's just like you're ragging, 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 I, I, I need to take a break. We told you Brian. Know? I already told Brian. I said, Brian, give it up. Come on. We did his yeah. last year. We still talking yeah. about the same. It's, but there, I, there's I no election until after the midterms. Now yeah. we can start having these conversations. Yeah, yeah. He called so me Thursday. Like... Yeah, he hit me up. Um, I think we just did the day before. And I was supposed to do something with him last night, but I, I was too tired. I really yeah. was. Brian um, calls me Thursday in about two hours anyway, so I was like, "No, let me get some rest." And now, the, see, there's a show now because of all the the crap that's been going on over the years. I don't even watch sixty minutes. When, 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 did we watch sixty minutes on something? Sixty minutes. Gee, I haven't watched sixty minutes in decades. There was one, watched part of it. There was one thing here recently. I can't think of it. It was the first time I think I watched six, watched sixty minutes in five years and stuff. I don't watch that anymore because the people that are on it, eh, conservative. Well, it's, it's just oh, sixty minutes is conservative. No, they're, 60 they're, 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 they're not. They're, they're cons when have they ever been conservative? They're CBS, Tony. I used to watch it back in the eighties. Uh, they, they were they were doing real journalism back now. It's every every news agency now. Um, how do Could I be. put it? A journalism Could ran amok. Click, but yeah, they got to because they were losing out. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with I would agree with Ted. Ted, they're 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 were central. Liberal. Yeah, I can agree with that, and and that's one. But I think they've they ventured off of that of recently, like uh, um, Katie Kirk. I I stopped watching CBS Evening News because of Katie Kirk. Now I do listen to CBS Radio News. I think they're great mm -hmm. as far as that. it's a straight news and stuff like that. But when you start throwing that opinion in once in a while, it's okay. But uh, but when you it's every freaking day. I'm, I'm turning you off. I have that power and stuff like that. Brian, just send me a damn Hodge twin shit. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Really. Because uh, I, we was going to talk about the Brittany Griner situation. I said, you know, I'll save you an hour for this one. Well, here's something just to, to talk about that. Uh, you know, that's been in the news in the forefront. I'm glad she's home. You know, um, it, it, it's but the thing of it is, the real story is, we still have a Marine over there. I didn't realize he's been over there for four freaking years. What are we doing about that? Ooh, how come they're not talking about him? I did. Nobody I, really knows about that dude. I, I, I'm just coming up to speed. I was like, okay, we got people. I know we got people over there, but then this guy's been. It's just like I'm coming. I'm I'm seeing, hearing on the news he's been over there for four years. I'm like, where the frick have I been? And I told I'm people, it was like, it was like, how come you're not talking about? It? I said, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, since 2018, Ted. Yeah. Told me, they told me, do your research. I said, research what? What the hell am I going to look for if I don't know nothing about it? You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, okay. They, they started talking. And it was interjected there probably from the right as far as, oh, we got a Marine over there now. 
And um, uh, there was an interview yesterday. His brother was, uh, uh, I guess I was listening to Hannity on the radio there, and he had an interview. And the brother said that, uh, um, and it was a miss. And here's where journalism has gone amok. It's just like where they had a journalist there at baseball. They said Aaron Rodgers is going to the Giants. He, 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 he freaking was totally wrong. Um, there was an NBC, and this started a, a freaking spiral uh, that the State Department said there was an either or for uh, Brittany or the Marine. And it's just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's like he's been over there longer. You, you could you could go that game, but the brother said no, that wasn't the case. So the brother, um, even though I don't agree with Hannity, it was an opportunity to hear somebody from the family. Yes, probably more in the know as far as that goes. Bring our was, yeah was, yeah, and I think they're working on that, and 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 the brother realizes that, and he was he was glad to hear, but these people that are making political hey, oh, we should have brought the marine back before. No, let's bring. We should have brought them both back if we had a president that was had a backbone that said hey, because you look at the guy they traded, they should have got four guys for that guy. Let me let me, let me go ahead and talk this. You said if we had a president that had a backbone, did you see what Ted said in the chat? Did you see what he said in the chat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a, didn't talk about it for two years. DJT <laughs> didn't talk about it for two years in his. I he think was there was a mention. There was a mention of that because mm -hmm. I remember uh, we had some people. But the but here's the here's the fallacy. Okay, you could say Donald Trump didn't talk about it, but where's the freaking news? The news agencies, all of them, Ted. Okay, across the board, right or left, conservative, mm -hmm. liberal, or whatever. Where were that. they? Exactly. They had, they had a different. They were more worried about freaking Twitter. Screw Twitter. Shit can Twitter. Bring our Marine back. Bring every every yeah. troop needs to come home. That's a given. And I told yeah. Bradley just that. I said, as as anybody who's prior military, yeah. or if you know anything about the military, the POW MIA campaign has been going on yeah. all of our lives. That's yeah. a no brainer. Yeah. My thing you is, why, never forget. Are this, why are you bringing this up now? Because she came home. Yeah. You worked about one Marine with a they different... Should have, they should have been on this you every day for the last four years. They should have MIA that's ever been over there in the first fucking place. I'll tell you, that shit quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, they can kill that noise to me. They can yeah. kill that to me all day. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, th I found it a very interesting uh, interview with the uh, the brother there. And he's, there's provision. He's doing good. He, he not, you know, he, he's acclimated. He's a Marine. Mm -hmm. uh, I blame both the ministry. Well, you got to throw in the media, too. Ted. The media, okay. yes, and I talked about this with Coach Apu. The media didn't tell you everything. Everybody caught something and they sticking on that. And they you can't tell me home. they didn't know. You got to tell me that nobody can tell me they didn't know because it's been there. You know, you know, they it just there's something else. They're, they're they're following the shiny toy. Like, okay, well, look at all these pro these problems they're talking about. Twitter don't mean squat when there's no, an American being captured. COVID took over the news, which is why we probably yeah. forgot about yeah, Paul. They watered it down. It marginalized. It's not that took over the news, which is probably why we didn't worry about Paul Willie. You had the yeah. political problems going back and forth, which is probably why we didn't worry about Paul Willie. Yeah. You had RSV kicking out, which is probably why you didn't worry about Paul Willie. So let me tell everybody something. Brittany yeah. Griner got locked up over there. They want to make a big old thing. She's black and she's lesbian. I'm on it. No, I'm no, no. Last night, no, night. I'm going to guarantee you. I know there's people doing that, Todd. Yes, uh, there are people doing Tony, it. Yeah. But it's, it's a bunch of bunk. It's a I bunch agree of with you. Oh, and we're we, we, we gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and take the uniform off for this one. They're full of shit because <laughs> she's the, one of the biggest stars in the WNBA. That's why she was all over the damn news, and she got caught up over there with that Ukraine shit. So now she's a political pawn. That crime she did was nothing. That punishment was too severe. I don't give a damn what. Well, the, the, the you Russian gotta. The, the thing is, too, it, I think um, I think Ukraine had because Putin had a pawn. He was using it. But the thing is, you've been overseas where, you know, they have some very strict rules. I don't break none of damn laws. I can't wait to get the hell back home once I get over there. You no, damn I've been over. I've been home. over in Italy, and I, I know a couple guys I worked with back when I first my first studio station at Aviano. They got in some problems with the carbonary and with the government and stuff like that. And they were. Um, let's just say they were allowed to leave after certain period and stuff like that. They're not for their lifetime. They cannot go back there and stuff like yeah. that. Okay. Dos for Danya, but, Sayonara, but, but they're not, but not they're, they're not in a gulag because let me tell you, when they were over there, they got a little problems. We we're at the beach and they got in a problem with the, a, a shop owner and stuff like that. Cause one of the guys had a motorcycle making too much noise and all that. What? And then, uh, well, it's just, we're young and dumb. We're, we're, 
Well, there was he a was bunch of us. Up. He was acting up pretty much. Well, he was he was being belligerent and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It's a screw you. And I'm, they brought the carbonated. Carbonary in Italy is a state police. You don't mess with them. And they arrested him right away. And one of the guys there, um, he uh, his buddy there, uh, Chris Pinto was his name. Good baseball player. Great second baseman on mm-hmm. the base team. But he, uh, and we were like, what, we're 17, 20 years old, all of us. So it was about 15 of us there. We're on the beach of Bibioni in, in Italy. And uh, they got hauled out to jail. Well, we get back to base, and uh, uh, oh, was it Doug Gertz? He was a senior guy. He was a uh, we were all airmen. This Doug Gertz was a senior airman, so he calls the first shirt and lets him know. And so they're down there. They they were in the Carbonary Jail for about uh, uh, about a month and uh, uh, or a couple a, a week or so, and then the the uh, the first shirt went down when he saw what they were. They, they got to know the carbonary. They let them out. It was sort of like the jailhouse was like uh, Andy uh, Mayberry RFD with mm-hmm. Andy Griffith uh, jail, where they let them out of the jail. They're playing ping pong. They're make they're they're feeding them pasta and stuff. It's like this is you guys are coming back to the base, and they they were on freaking uh, dorm guard or dorm uh, cleaning duty for a while, and then they the process went through. And then they went home and they, they said, because of the violation you had here in Italy, you can never come back to this country again. And with Brittany, okay. It, it's just, got that. It's a, the, you know, the punishment was too severe for the crime, in my opinion. Oh, okay. yeah, I agree. Oh, oh, oh to- totally. It's just like, okay, just send her home and tell her she can't come back in this country again. But because of the war, um, Putin, he's just using her as a pawn, just like with the Marine. Yes. As far as that goes. So, uh, but you know, you can blame the administration is like, oh, they knew about it. Are they emphasized? Are they really working hard for it? It's been four years. But, but the thing of it is, it, you know, hearing about the guy they traded for, they could have got both of them. It's like, what the hell ha- is somebody dropped the ball there? Yeah. And everybody can have that discussion all day. I'm yeah. 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 The, uh, we should, like you said, we should not forget. Those that are still missing, and uh, you know, in this case, the Marine, he's been. Over, I, I was just flat. It's like, wait a minute, I thought we still got a Marine over there for four freaking years. We got soldiers every damn where. Yeah, and yeah. Th- that's what drives me crazy. We got soldiers everywhere that we haven't gone to get. Yeah, I'm not going to get mad over Paul because Paul's only been there four years. What about the one that's been over there? Tw- Y'all mother forgot Rambo came out in the 70s and the 80s. Right. That movie was about going to get the POWs. Right. So oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know firsthand about the POD. Well, this is the ones that are already deceased because they had a POD uh, mission. I almost went on one going to Vietnam when I was at Yakota. But right. they sent uh, some other firefighters that went uh, with the, the detachment. And, and, and when they came back, I'm glad I did because they said it was no picnic. No. <laughs> Being out there in the jungle, said, it there was no, no picnic. There's no picnic. Vietnam, Cambodia, Korea. Yeah. Yeah. They were, then, uh, when they went, they went, they went for about a month to two months and they were able to they were at a site they were supposed to they had report there were, were three deceased uh airmen from a b-50 they were able to bring back one and stuff yes. they found one and stuff like that but uh um you know they just uh the the, the mission continues on that and stuff like that and it just this this recent thing with the marine and and stuff like that it just brings to the forefront it's like oh my god what you know um we've been you know, also and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so on everybody's ass about this. Yeah. We've been here soldiers over there. Don't use this right. one. He had a dishonorable discharge. Yeah. He had multiple citizenships all over the place. Yeah. He's got more of an international issue than what she had. Oh, what's that? It should have been two for one deal. Disable some sanctions. Um, They have no respect for Biden. I'm sorry. Nobody has oh, respect yeah. for Biden in other countries. It doesn't look like it at all. They're glad yeah. he's in position. They got to fix a lot of what Trump did. If Biden does another term, his second term will be better. If he doesn't, Y'all got to tell me who y'all want for president. We, we got to see who the players are as far as who, for this next one. We got to see the player. Yeah, we'll see. Who, who going to beat them? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't have another candidate stronger than him. Who, Biden? No, neither party. Um, Biden neither. is – I, I got to say this, Tony. I've said this before. Biden is the weakest president. He's works – He's. I remember Jimmy Carter. He is if, – if it wasn't for certain aspects – of propping him up, he is not a strong president. Who, uh, Biden? Yes. He is He's not a strong old. president. He's too old. He's too well, old. Bernie Sanders, uh, I saw uh, a tweet on here that somebody retweeted. He's thinking about running again. 
So you'll be a shoo-in as a Democrat. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You know, it's this primary. Yeah, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for, theory. let's just say, for, if you go back and you look at Biden's uh, uh, primary, if it wasn't for South Carolina, he would not have been president. Well, Arizona and Georgia, and um, no, I'm just starting to get get the ball rolling for him because he he was fall and get the ball rolling. Yes, but Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia were three of the big states that was helping with the numbers. If yeah. Bernie Sanders gets in, Bernie Sanders actually looks more competent than Biden and Trump right now. He looks more complicated. I think the Democrats and Republicans have there were some candidates on the Democratic side once mm-hmm. you get past Biden and Harris that I think were more viable and, and probably would have been a better president. I kind of was this, this, is coming, this is coming from a conservative Republican now, okay? You're fine. I think Elizabeth Warren would be good. No, no, no. She's I heard. Sh- I heard too I shrill. Heard. There, there's some other people there that and I'm not talking about the uh, the mayor she there was either. Very so. vocal on that Roe versus Wade being overturned. I kind of gained some respect for her. Oh. I saw a couple of things that she's done. I, I just don't like the fact that uh, the documentation that uh, uh, about her putting down her race is Indian. I, I still don't. I, I don't I'll give you that. Yeah, that. I give you that. I give okay. you that. It's just like if somebody's going to do that on a form and think that he's going to get a pass, they don't get a pass from me. And it's the same thing with the president here. He he His first time going for, a lot of people don't remember this because it's been so many years. He plagiarized. We have a president, a sitting president that plagiarized mm-hmm. and then bounced him out of the first time he ran for president because it's just back then, if you had one, a little divot without um, the proper reference, yes. Yeah, you had a little uh, issue there with that. It's like, well, we can't have you. You don't. You don't. But the the game the the the, the game has changed totally. That Absolutely. allowed someone like President Biden, and I I really liked him as a senator when he used to be on Meet the Press and stuff. He was but, a beast. He was a beast as a vice president. Everybody wanted him to run. Plagiarism was very easy on any campaign. I think he was too cocky as a vice president. And I don't think I, 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 I think he had a leash on him as a vice president. He had somewhat of they had to keep him quiet for the most part. Yeah. Every, every meme had him quiet and Obama like, don't do nothing, don't say okay. nothing. And, and so, Ted Hicks says true about South Carolina. Yeah, he says South true Carolina. about South Carolina. Yeah. The Democrats don't have a strong candidate right now to me. No, but, but if you look at it, you know, would Ted say true South Carolina? Look at what and this is coming from the White House. They want to change the whole game on the Democratic side. It's like, oh, we want South Carolina as the first because he faltered big time in Iowa and New Hampshire. And New Hampshire, and for him to play, oh, I want it to be more inclusive. It's like, well, up there in New Hampshire, you have a, a, a woman that's in charge of the Democratic Party there that she's African-American. She's black. So how can you say, Oh, yeah, she's black, I believe. That's her first. And she's she's irate saying to the president, it's like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, Ted. I don't know. I mm-hmm. you know, I hear that on the news when I'm coming home from work and stuff like that. So uh I um so it, it's one of those things that uh the president, the current sitting president, when I see something like that, it was why are you changing that game and stuff? What is wrong? It, it's there's nothing wrong with the system. Mm-hmm. But you want to change it, and it's like, oh, South Carolina, oh, South Carolina, South Carolina was pivotal, pivotal for for President Biden becoming president, because you had a congressman, I believe it was a congressman that spoke for him, and he just raked the table in South Carolina during the primary. Gotcha. Now, the, the big question on that primary is why did he pick Harris? Because she wasn't, she didn't even get one single oh, the vote. Vice president, as a vice president, yeah, I don't know. President. I don't think she's qualified. Um, I actually did talk to Izzy about it when, she, when, the, when her campaign was coming up because he's in California. Right. I know nothing about her. And he talked very bad and very down about her. He's looking so correct right now. He's looking so correct. She, she, no, she's, she, uh, it's, that's, she's the only thing that makes Biden looks good as president. <laughs> no, I, I have great respect for the, the office of president and vice president. They're, they're the elected leaders and stuff like that. But I, I'm still going to be, you know, Opinionated. Uh, well, I'm going to say my views. I'm, I, I don't want to be opinionated. Well, oh, you're just Brian. No. <laughs> she laughs. She, she knows. I'm trying to be subtle. Yeah, she's. Oh, yeah, I, I can get out of my house. 
I see I your efforts, and I can see when you switch. I already got you. I figured out my high horns. I'm just trying because I'm online and stuff like that. Because there's other factors. There's other people that may be watching this and stuff like that. And yes. it's not that I don't want to offend you. I, I could care less. And, you know, it's fact. It's it, like you said. It's my opinion. It's my view, and I respect it. And, and, and it's like Tony. Tony, uh, you know, we have a, a common core. Um, uh, other than being New Yorkers, along with Ted. Uh, right. I'm a factor that uh, binds us and stuff, but we have differences, opinions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we could talk them and stuff like that, but it's just, uh, um, it just, when you get on that higher level, they, they're cutthroat. And I'm like, God, do you really have to be like that? It's, I mean, you got to have your opinion stand your ground. A lot of what we're saying is going to be in a change of country. Yeah. Period. End of story. And, and, and I always believe that the country is is stronger, and people don't really look at that. So maybe I'm looking at rose-colored glasses. But my feeling is the country is stronger than any one person and uh, on either side, and yes. it will survive because it, it just – if any uh, you look at all the, the stuff that we've gone through, through, you know, before COVID, through COVID to now, <clears throat> if that happened in any other country, they would implode. Yeah. That's the strength of this country to be able to do that. I just there's well, a, lot of... that a lot during this campaign that other countries looking trying to see what he did. What he did was he changed the status quo, and he's looking correct. He's looking very correct. Who's he's that now? Tr Trump. He's looking very correct. Well, looking... Trump, the big thing about Trump is that he was the darling when he was on the get fired when NBC and stuff like that. Now, Trump, he he gets too boisterous yes. sometimes. With what what's it, what's in the past? Don't forget about it, but let it go so you can move forward and yes. do something. Okay. Yes. yes. Because there were some great things that he did. Every president, even President Clinton, and actually President Clinton, I thought was better than President Obama. President, uh, no, actually no. President Obama, his first term, I liked. His second term got a little shaky, jakey with the freaking uh, health care and stuff like that. That. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is taxing me. I don't want, you know, it's like the healthcare situation. I'm gonna tell you what screwed him. Doctors didn't have to accept it. That screwed him. He tried I to put across the board healthcare, which is one thing a lot of people in the country were complaining about. And they said yeah. we need it. He put it in place. Well, my, my take on that, Tony, when you, you had Congress, they had a freaking stack of papers that was up to here from the yes. floor. 12,000 pages. You're, right. gonna tell me, you're gonna tell me somebody read that? Twelve thousand. Did the president read that? No, I don't think the president really. I think President Obama oh. didn't realize what, and he wanted his name attached, and that's the same thing. Um, now, this recent thing that they just passed here, uh, the Equal uh, Marriage Act, that yes. the president's going to sign. That's great legislate. Both sides are on board in that. We need more of that. As far as that goes, both sides. Well. Let's just say there was uh, about 50, 60 Republicans that. I think, I think letting people get married who are happy with being with each other, I got no problem with that. But right. the multi gender issue that we have right now is the conflict. It's it's something new. It's something that it's not. It, it's definitely not the norm, especially for me, the way I was raised and stuff. But I have to adjust to it. I have to, you know. It's, we all it's, have to adjust to it, absolutely. But they they they're pushing on the kids. Yeah. And that's our issue. They're yeah. trying to raise families that way. That's our issue. Yeah. You can be happy with who you want to be with. If you're going to take care of a child, God bless you. Yeah. In all aspects, honestly. But now you're trying to push kids to change their mentality. I saw, um, I read something on Facebook. There's a school. Okay, this wasn't the, this wasn't the um, sex change one. There's a school that's offering a satanic club. It's an elementary school in Virginia. Then you got one, another school where they're doing the cross gender talk, and you could be a gender, whatever gender you want to be. Yeah. At what age? Elementary. Yeah. That. See, I I can't fathom that. That's uh, that's where I would have to, you know, I have to disagree with. But the majority, I, of the, and I I would I would think that majority haven't been a parent would mm -hmm. want to let the kids be kids. But but then again, there's aspects in there that. I don't even understand and I'm trying to understand as far as that goes. And there's uh, a very, there was a very big push for femininity, which we can understand feminine, uh, women, feminine, all mm -hmm. that is, is the dominant. We got that part. Yeah. But good Lord. Now you got both genders changing each other. Nobody's yeah. going to know who the hell's who anymore. Yeah. That's, that's where it's like, 
it's all over the the board for me and stuff like that. Yes. So it's, it's but the, then again, there's a there's a there's a um, a subject matter there. That's what makes this country great because can you it see is. A lot of freedom of choice? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. So as much as I you know, I may disagree with certain aspects and stuff, the greater good is that it makes this country stronger. I think in the long run. Yes. It does. And, and it's stuff. going to. I 100 percent agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's just confusing yeah. to a lot of us who are old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, old school and stuff like that. But the thing is, once we're all gone and it's it's I don't think it's going to be old school anymore. It's going to be new. The new schools. But then again, you know, maybe uh, we're, 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 we're we're in dangerous species. Eh, yeah, that's one way of putting it. Yeah, I we're guess in endangered could... species. heterosexuals are an endangered species. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting and, and stuff yeah. like that. You know, this this conversation is going some directions I didn't even think of. <laughs> and we're not even mad. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's interesting because you have to be aware of it. it is this, you know, I, I, like I, I have people say, why are you living in New York State? You could you could move down to Florida. Or I, I, I got a friend of mine that's fire chief down there at uh, Shepherd Air Force Base, uh, uh, Dave Muncy there. Um, in Texas? Yeah, Texas. He he, he loves Texas. You know, I'm I'm just yeah. He lived down there. Next. I'd be Brian's neighbor and stuff like that. But it's just like um, you know, you, you, there's a lot of things that you don't agree. I love New York State for what yeah. it is. I don't agree with the politicians a lot of time. But does it directly impact? Me? Nah, not really. New York State got political issues. Plain yeah, yeah. It, it does. It, it, it does. I, I don't really the current uh, governor there. I, I I think I have more disagreements with her than I do, but well, I'm going to give her a chance to give her a chance to see what happens because it seems like she was more in the, the limelight in the news here in New York state, but then right. Ted might, he might say differently because he's down there in long Island. And I, uh, in, you know, you, you know, the difference upstate and downstate it's, it's like two different States and stuff like that. And I think there's yes. two different, absolutely. absolutely. But then again, long Island, I think is, more lying the lines of what's going on up here in upstate. It's just the city is a whole, you know, you look at New York city, Syracuse, um, Rochester, Buffalo, they dictate where, where the state is going for the most mm. part. Albany, Albany. It, it just, because that's where the vast majority of the populations are and stuff like that. So, right. and, uh, so, and people, there, there's, there's people I was in the service. So how can you live with that? Right. It's a, Hey, I like where I'm living right now, even though the missus well, wants in the to... rural area, not in the major metropolitan area. Every state has that difference. Yeah, yeah. Every state has that difference. And that, that's yeah. the one thing that's not understood by yeah. a lot of people. All they think when they hear New York, all they think is Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Manhattan. Oh, yeah. And, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even still here, Georgia, Georgia. Everybody thinks Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, same. All same they about Atlanta. They don't know about Atlanta. Macon, Columbus. Yep. They don't yep. know about uh, Valdosta. They don't know. All they think is Atlanta. Yep, same analogy. Yeah, the, the yes, city uh, dictates the state and stuff, which is, I don't know, is there a way of correcting that? I don't know. You know, no, just, you got to uh, visit. Yeah. You got your research, you got your history, and right. they don't know nothing outside of what's the major news of that area. Yeah. I always tell people, you can have your research, you can have your education, but until you lived it, you don't know shit. Well, that's true. Yeah. And it's just like, uh, experience uh, is your education. Yeah. Your experience is education, not your research. Yeah. People got to get that through their head. That's why I deal with so many folks on so many different levels. Yeah. What I've learned from people around the world outside of what was on the news when there was COVID, well, that's one of the biggest funds I had when I was on HAPS. I would talk to people like, listen, can you tell me what's going on in your area? And they will break down something different that was on the news, priceless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the that's the magic of this uh this live streaming and stuff to be able to do that now and stuff like that and and, and whatnot. And then the, the just the experience of this. Along with, uh, I, I, I cherish the experience I had in the service because the 13 of uh, the 20 were overseas. Mm -hmm. That's an education itself right there. Learn, yeah, you know. Um, I never knew anything about Turkey until I went over there. And it changed my life. Well, I heard Turkey's not that bad. It's not that yeah, bad. I went to Insulik. I went to yeah. uh, Castle by the Sea. Right. Um, I had no idea what I was going to see. I um, didn't know. Peter in the Bible was born in Turkey. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, went to, yeah. I went to his birthplace, uh -huh. um, saw a couple of land sites and everything. It just, I told myself what I was seeing over there, I was never going to complain about my living conditions yeah. in the United States. Anymore. Yeah, the, the longest time I, well, I thought Peter was, um, 
was right there with all the other apostles. He, he was right Turkish. There. Yeah, it was yeah, Turkish. He, <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, just the way that w- the world was back then and stuff like that, and uh, um, and and whatnot. So it's just uh, it's just our life experiences. Um, and there's some people that they they have that opportunity, but they just squander. They don't want to see what they they actually see. You know, it's just like uh, um, in some cases, uh, people that you know, like in Randy and um, uh, Nazim's, if they're overseas, they're patriots and stuff like that. And uh, but uh, there's some things that when they when they they're talking about the United States, I'd say you know I don't think you realize where the United States is at right now compared to what it Randy's was. Randy's been gone for over a decade. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. You know he's, he's very smart and astute and stuff like that. But there's something you know you can and he he has his opinion, which is good because that's what I love listening to him because he has a good good perspective. Um, but there's something. It's one of those things that uh, there's some things I I don't know squat that in this country. They look at Saudi. Oh, they're 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 and he he paints a different picture. So that's like that's that's boots on the ground over there and stuff. Yes, yes. Oh, so yes. and the, the the flip side of the coin of that is like, oh, okay, because I've never been to Saudi. I've never been to the. I never stepped on the sandbox. Um, you know? I've been on the peninsula, not necessarily yeah. because I've been to Al Right, Trans- right. Um, quite frankly, it's too damn hot down there. Yeah. Quite frankly, too. I mean, when the sun comes up, the AC doesn't work. That's how hot it is. You know what the temperature in Riyadh right now is? Probably 115. Oh, at 6:19 p.m., we got clear skies. It's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's a good day to go ride a camel. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where Randy's at in Milan, and my 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 iPad, I mean, I got the times up and stuff. Milan, it's 79 degrees. So it's but the the thing is, it could be 79 there, but the humidity, I. Being in the PI, you could be seventy nine, but the humidity is just going to saps you. It, it's- um, if it's seventy nine, you could deal with it. Only because I've yeah, been over there yeah, and it's been yeah. one hundred and twenty. But that one hundred and twenty is nothing to play with over there. Yeah, but I can yeah. guarantee you, there's there's Filipinos, uh, people in Philippines are uh, Philippine nationals are wearing parkers right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, that's what I saw at Walls there. When the temperature dropped below ninety, they were wearing coats. <laughs> It's like it's really, like yeah. The humidity will kill you over there. Yeah, that's for real. Yeah, yeah. that's for real. All right, let me get moving, man. I got to. Okay, yeah. Going. I was just gonna say, yeah. I gotta get some breakfast here, get my day started. Tony oh, D, okay. this has been great as far as uh, 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 being on the broadcast. Or, you know, just shooting the Saturday morning shit Absolutely. with you and stuff like that. It's always Absolutely. great. We're going to do and, some uh, more. Don't you worry. We're going to do yeah, some more. Yeah. I'm going to work. And I'll, I'll throw this over on the the YouTube because this has been a good one on it. I got a good uh, – let me make sure. Yeah, I got a good uh, – you'll see you a pick up. I'll no, share I'm, it. I'm, not, what's that? You can throw it everywhere. I can share it out too. We're good. I'll, I'll put I'll put it up on YouTube. But I was just going to say the pick there is going to be the three of us. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tony D, where can we find you, sir? Where can't you find me? I'm on Twitter, T O N Y T O N one six three. I'm on TikTok, T O N Y T O N one nine seven two. Uh I'm on Twitch, T O N Y T O N seven two. Instagram, T O N Y T O N seven two. I got a link tree, T O N Y D dot original. You'll find me all over the place. I tend to act up wherever I go tomorrow morning, Sunday mornings. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, Kings Fantasy Football League. Look for me between ten and eleven AM Eastern with all of the members of the football league, the fantasy football league that we have for free, as well as my man, Rich Roberts. We're going to be- I appreciate uh, you having me. Absolutely, man. Thank you, man. This was fun. We needed this. We needed this big time. You all won't be seeing us again. You better get ready because we got plans to do some stuff together. It's probably going to take just as long. It's going to be just as random, and you're going to be just as interested. You better holler at your boys. (laughs) There he is, Tony D, okay? That's my man, my brother. Um, this is Rich Roberts. Uh, you can follow me over there on uh, Twitter at Fireman Rich, or I told myself as I like to say, a social media observer, social media enthusiast. In other words, I like doing things on this thing called the internet. And, and talking with Tony is always a pleasure. And having our good friend Ted Hicks to give him a, a, a plug there from late night parenting over there on Twitch. LateNightParents.com. Right. Ways to follow the show. LateNightParents.com. Ted Hicks, follow my man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, uh, we'll see you all later, wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun. Ciao for now. As always.